Hi! You're listening to the Lincoln Cast, and, uh... Uh... <laughs> you wanna try that again, noob? <laughs> no, 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 it's good, it's, it's good, good. it's good, it's good, it it's good. Doing it live. Um, <laughs> doing it live, even though it's recorded. Um, episode 26, for the week of October 27th. That's, that's one number apart, that's crazy. Right. Um, I'm your host, Nubarama, and with me here today are Self-Confessed Cynic. Hello! Fuck, I love that you actually took so much intro. time. Wow. Okay, Durin. <laughs> that, that was. I, I'm so excited. I, <laughs> I just so can't excited. hide it. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to lose control, and, and I, uh, I think I like it. I think I like it. Salutations. Salutations. How are all of you doing? No. That's my. I'm doing well. Question. Shut. Shut up. <laughs> I get I'm to ask the well questions. Too. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Um. You did it wrong. It's how are you doing? I'm recording okay. a podcast. Dear, dear, <laughs> how's your week been? You've been gone for what three? Who are you episodes? talking to? Episodes? You, the you self confessed. Okay, all right, sure. <laughs> Sinek, you've been gone for many episodes. How, how, how have you been? I, I've been doing. I, I, I had work. I had a lot of work. And no, let's be honest been, here. You fucking abandoned us. Is this like we a CNN, get a podcast like, interview? Done. What? <laughs> just the way, the way yeah, you it starts with a cold question and then it starts with <laughs> yeah. goes to, you You've been gone for a few oh, weeks yeah. now. How have you been? How have you been? I just answered that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like answering the same question. No, over over look, 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 look. Okay. So, uh, what have you been up to this week, Cynic? You haven't, you haven't been on the podcast. Are we going to what we playing? For two Is episodes, that what we're supposed to be talking and about? And you've abandoned us. Fuck! I don't even. I don't even understand anymore. God, just, just throw me for a loop. <laughs> right. What, what right. do you actually want from me? What do you want from okay, me? Okay. Now? What What have you been doing this week, Nick? What have been doing? So you, I was asking what kind of games I've been playing, or just like what I've been just, doing? Just what kind? Of, what'd you eat for breakfast today? I I, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. It is noon. And I haven't eaten. No, breakfast it's yet. it's actually nine thirty nine. Part of the yeah. part of the, the day. Yeah, I know. But we had yeah. to, I had to like get online and re- and contact this dickhead called Nubarama and. Then, <laughs> Oh, he was playing Armor Two. It's just like what the I wasn't. I was like, launching Armor Two, and then you started messaging me, and I had to close the game. What the f- jerk? Yeah, I was, that to I was wondering why you were launching Armor Two, not <laughs> ten minutes before we were he supposed to be on the this week, podcast. But, hey, Cindy, is it okay if we record the podcast on on Saturday night? I'm like, okay, sure. I show up on time, and of course, <laughs> and Duran shows up on time. He's like, and, and Thurbleton gets online at around the right time, and even I'm though he's never like, on, on the show. And then, yeah, he Brahma. Whatever, whatever. Two. Okay, what have you been playing this week, Cynic? That's the question uh, I um, asked you. Stop changing the question, asshole. Well, I kind of want to talk about the two movies I watched first. Okay. Because they were right, pretty movies cool. have you seen? So, well, one of them was pretty cool. Paranormal Activity 4 was one of them. Oh, was that the okay, fourth that, fucking it, movie? Jesus You, you watch all of them, right? Yes. Well, no, I've watched everyone okay. except for two. Okay. Uh, how so would you half compare of that? I know, I know Patrick said that one and three were his favorites, two and four were the weak ones. Yep. How would you compare four to one and three, given that you didn't watch two? Uh, one and three were excellent, four was a piece of shit. Mm. Okay, so I need to <laughs> not go see four then, gotcha. Um, well, okay, so four has jumps, well, it was, it's pretty good in the tension. It does everything right for the first half, and then it just falls apart. It just completely falls apart for the second half. Does it go like real deep back into the whole like cult bullshit? Yeah, the, uh, and the first one stuff. Like, okay, so and have you watched three? Yeah, I watched all three of the. the all right, so a couple of spoilers, probably for people who give a shit. Um, at the I think end, anybody who gives a shit about paranormal activity probably, probably has watched, watched them it. because yeah, there's such yeah. a small number of people really that give a shit. Exactly. So in the grand scheme of things, if about horror movies in general, anyway. Um, at the end of Paranormal Three, when you when he walks into the garage sequence, um, and you see all the the women, right? <laughs> you see all those women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I, hard sorry. To, it's hard to remember that movie with every other movie in which I, the guy opens the garage door and there's all the women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's, okay, this is the one that so was not movies. on right. Cinemax. And you know that part, how it, at that very moment the entire movie lose all loses all scariness. Yes. It's kind of because like it that. becomes every other horror movie. Yeah, it kind of, it's kind of like that for the <sighs> last part. Of See, that's, that's only the first one. So great. Yeah, is it so like good. it didn't ride on any kind of trope? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Well, aside from the fan footage, obviously. But well, I mean, but that wasn't even really a trope. Like, like that was it's done so rarely. Yeah, and done at, well at time, so rarely. Yeah, yeah. I I just I felt the first one. 
The first one set the bar for fan footage f- films today, yeah. like like the 2010 plus yeah. fan footage films. Mm. Um, and, but then after that, it's I feel like even the paranormal movies are just kind of cribbing off well, the I, first paranormal. Movie. I, f- I felt like as soon as they started including CG into them, that ruined the movies. Absolutely, like, right. that was one. That was one of the first ones. So good is yeah. they got away from. And they talked about this on, on I believe, the most recent Bombcast as yeah. well. Um, but, like, they got away from the reliance on CG and the jump scares and all that and kind of brought it back to just creepy tension, atmospheres. Just a you know, shitload of tension. The, the bump like, in the night kind of stuff. In the first movie, the part where he walks out into the backyard is still one of the most terrifying things to me in well, all of cinema. And what made the first one so great was that, like... In any other movie, that that ending part where you saw him like what was it? He like flew down the stairs or whatever, that and flew then out the she camera. like came back just up flew or whatever, out the camera. or flew, flew out of the camera. That's right. Yeah, and then she comes up out of the stairs or whatever. Yeah, like that would have looked cheesy as hell in like mm-hmm. any other movie, yep. but because the the rest of that movie up to that last couple of minutes was mm-hmm. so grounded in reality with just kind of the subtle subtle little things here and there, like the footsteps yep. mm-hmm. and, and and the sounds and whatever and her possessions, like it made that part that much more impactful. Because you believed everything that was happening up to that point. And it wasn't so out of the realm of reality. Um, Adam Sal- Savage talks about it on the uh, most recent, I think it was the most recent, it was the most recent like Adam Savage project tested podcast thing um, where they talked about Halloween and therefore scary movies. Um, he talked about how in, I believe it was American Werewolf in London or something like that. One, one of the one of the old like mid nineties scary movies. Um, mm, yeah, he does a good thing. The director there does a good thing where um, something comes up on the screen which indicates that something scary is going to happen, right? But then the director pauses for not like a beat, which would give enough pe- people enough time to close their eyes or whatever, but like two or three beats, so those people would have opened their eyes again, bef- and then the scary thing happens. Um, mm-hmm. Paranormal 1 did exactly the same thing for that sequence where he walks, he's there in the bedroom, he hears something coming up the stairs, he walks out of the bedroom into the dark hallway so you can no longer see him. So it's just the, the plain bedroom and there's darkness to the, ho- to the door to the hallway. Yeah. And then nothing happens for a couple of seconds and there's no sound or anything. It's just, just that the eerie, like white noise, like amped up white noise they use in a lot of yeah. paranormal stuff. And then yeah. the scary thing happens. And that was fucking perfect. Absolutely yeah, that couple, that couple of seconds so, of hesitation. So does it just like the, lack the subtlety of that, or absolutely the second half? I, th- I think the biggest, I think the biggest problem they had is after that first movie, um, going forward, they felt like they needed to flesh out the backstory of mm-hmm. all of it, and mm-hmm. that's what killed Paranormal Activity. Mm-hmm. To some extent, there wasn't a backstory. There wasn't really a story three, to the first one. Um, uh, even the backstory part did ruin like the the lo- like the closing couple of minutes of that movie, but the rest mm. of that movie was still a very like successfully done fan footage horror movie. Like it was really well. Sp- I think I think that's the really important part though is that as soon as you start to put a story to it, that's what kills the fan footage yeah. stuff. Like yeah. that's why the first one was so good. That's why the first Blair Witch um, is highly regarded by a lot of people is because mm-hmm. there isn't kind of the centralized story and like the narrative going throughout the movie. It's just kind of a series of events happening to these people, and you're just there you know, along for the ride yeah. in the, the video camera. Yeah. It's, 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 pr- it's pretty cool. I, I, I love the fan footage genre, um, as it's become today, even though, cause I really want to check out VHS. Like I really want to. Yeah. Check I, out I heard them talking about that on giant bomb. And I, I actually wrote, I was at work and I actually like wrote it down on a post note cause I want to make sure I, I find that movie. Uh, yeah. I've never I, heard about it. I'm not sure if it's already come out here than left cinemas or hasn't come out here yet. Cause we get weird cinema, like release time. Oh, so it's actually a new Australia. movie. Okay. Uh, yes, it's it's very new. Um, I've actually heard like you guys get some movies months before the U.S. Does. Yep, some movies months before, some movies months after. Some like the like really big blossoms. I want to say you get the day before. Oh, I don't know. But, um, isn't it like yeah. a lot of the a lot of the stuff that's filmed in New Zealand? You guys tend to get pretty early too, right? We get we usually get the day before you guys. Do. Okay. Um, yeah, like, that's most of the big stuff nowadays, or, or a lot of the big yeah. stuff anyway. You make a good point with like th- there's. I really enjoy the movies that are uh, like the, the, the either the low budget uh, horror, just like just, just any story that has uh, it starts off on its own. It's not some prequel or sequel, and either intentionally or like just accidentally, they leave enough stuff in the movie for fans to make their own conclusion of like oh, yeah. where yeah. The, what happened before and after. Wait a second. Like, wait, wait a second. What is that? A fucking CRT in your background? 
<laughs> you mean the, the one that is acting as a sta- uh, stand for pizza boxes? Yeah, Maybe. Yes. Right? So basically, fuck? for those who can't see, like we can see Thurbleton's video footage, and he's in like this, he's, it looks like Thurbleton's? he's outdoors. We can't right? see anyone like, else's. No, no, no. Basically, right. So it looks like he's outdoors. It looks like it's some sort of park. And there's is that a, I, I don't know is that a dumpster I don't I can't tell either way uh, um so, no, no, what's so weird, Cynic, what's weird you about said... the whole setup there what's weird, weird about the setup I just I just want to point this out to you is not only is there a CRT there mm-hmm. but it seems like the seat for that desk is actually a bar stool yeah yep and yep. there's a taller actually, bar stool pushed under the desk as well I yeah I think this is where the that. recycling oh, go, is. okay go. I have a story I went like this is years ago mm-hmm. I went to uh, I think it was like one of the hardware stores. And I didn't know what, like, you know, stool to get for, you know, just, uh, moving with a bunch of friends and all that. Mm-hmm. And so I just picked Wait, one. Wait, why do you want it? Why do you need a stool? Uh, we got, like, some countertop for the kitchen. Okay. All right, like, area. And oh, like the, the breakfast bar thing? The yeah. bar table, yeah. Okay. And so I got one, and I wasn't sure if this would be the right height. And so I bought it, wrote on the bottom, stool sample. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sink in. <laughs> it was this sample to see if I wanted to get more. Okay, sure. <laughs> Right. Okay. What, what's wrong with stool yeah. samples, like man? It, it seed? There's yeah, nothing would... disgusting about that. That's the higher one. We end up getting like three lower ones, but that, that I still have that one. <laughs> uh, I gave I gave one to each of the the buddies as we we left that place, but I kept the the sample, as the well stool as, sample, uh, one smaller one. Okay. So as you're saying, so, what, what were you saying about horror movies? I, I was just entirely. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Cynic, you said Paranormal Activity four was bad, and you saw two movies, right? One was that's correct. Cool. Which yes, one was this yeah. cool movie? So the Please second one I watched, which turned you out to be surprisingly awesome, was Dread. Oh, I don't know. Okay. 3D Dread. Dread. The Dread. Um, Ju- wait, not Judge Dread. Le- yeah, let us again. The, on the na- wait, on no. the box. As a horror movie? On, no, no, no. Not as ho- just the second movie I watched this oh, weekend. Okay. Um, just, okay. On the on the on all the advertising, if you look it up on IMDb, if you look it up on in our cine- like your cinema listings, it's called 3D Dread. It's cause, like they really pushed for making it only in 3D. I thought it was Dread 3D. You would think so. So not only is it not immediately apparent what the fucking movie is, because so it starts it's, with 3D. 3 d Dread. Yeah, and secondly, you don't immediately realize that, hey, this is that Judge Dread remake, which really kind of should. There was a Judge Dread remake? It's not... That's the be- Okay, so I watched it um, yesterday. It was just yesterday. So my memories are pretty, still pretty fresh. Um, I can say that... I, even looking back at it now, hours later, which is frequently not the case with a lot of action movies, is still pretty good. It's 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 not fantastic. I would probably give it like a seven out of ten or a seven and a half out of ten. But for what they could have fucked up with Judge Dredd, they didn't fuck up as much as they could. Is they 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 failed to meet how bad they could do it, which is awesome. So so you're saying it's it's not as bad as the next RoboCop movie is going? To be. Yeah yeah. yeah. Pretty much. They're filming that in Toronto. I saw some um, stuff going on. It was it was. Really I, I do have I do have one key question for you. Go, uh, cynic. Uh, I've I've heard some other people talk about it, and it's like apparently there's a lot a, a lot of slow motion just because like that's the drug is like slow mo <laughs> yeah. and all that, right? Uh-huh. Like They're laughing, so this is already set up for good. <laughs> but I I hear that. Like they don't overdo the slow motion. And they do. <laughs> okay, uh, they've overdone it. Yes. You know, what they do, they make it oh, look good. Fuck. I think there's like five minutes of slow mo in that movie. <laughs> like, well, okay, five uh, just straight minutes of slow mo, um, or is it like set up in three I, different. There's, there's one. Okay, it felt like it, but um, <laughs> there was okay. There was one part near the start which is at least forty-five seconds long. And then you have of just slow mo, of just slow motion footage. You're not used to seeing slow mo go that long. And they're just they're just looping that one song, <laughs> that one fragment, fragment of a song that's from the Bayonetta. Yep. So there's that one, and then there's 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 another one. I can't say what these parts are linked to, so I'm just gonna tally them. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. Or seven um, slow mo sequences, of which at least two of them are over forty five seconds long, and the other three are going to be like at least a couple of at least thirty seconds each, I think, or twenty five seconds each, something like that. There's a lot of slow mo in that movie, like far more than any like Matrix has nothing on the amount of slow mo <laughs> moved. And, like, this has oh, multiples wow. of what was in the Matrix. Um, oh, there's more. There's like little bits of slow mo every now and then as well. Um, 
And that's and a lot of those don't even have anything to do with the drama. Oh, what it's about just... that fucking movie with uh, <laughs> Zach Bramf or whatever his stupid name is, and Angelina Jolie? Like, uh, oh, wanted? wanted, where they curve bullets. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that was such a movie. Oh. I'm trying to think if that had as... No, that, that didn't have as much love as Dread. Uh, don't forget, that had Morgan Freeman in it as well. Yeah, it did. I can't do it. But no, it's it was... The best thing about Dread was that it didn't... They did not do a remake of the original Judge Dread. They did a reimagining. Okay, so it's just a not concept. It, it's just, it's you know, like, we did this concept. is a vignette with Dread in it. Now, hmm. what something else that uh, those are way too big of words for a Judge Dredd movie. Um, <laughs> this is this is a sequence of a, okay, no, the too too many syllables. This was there's a building with Judge Dredd in it, has and Judge he Dredd in it. It's Judge Dredd, Asia. You you heard it here good. first on the Lincoln Cast, right? A North a post North Korean <laughs> imitating Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Performing the role uh, of Judge Dredd. Okay, yes. okay, okay. So was that all? Is that all happened? It was. It was the two weeks you left us. For those out there, I recommend Judge Dredd. I do not recommend. I recommend Paranormal Four just to see how to. Would you recommend do Robocop? Well, do you recommend Ju- Judge Dredd or do you recommend 3D Dread? Oh fuck! Yeah, 3D Dread. Um, 3D Dread. 3D Dread was pretty completely good. different movie. Jesus fuck! Yeah, Christ. man, like stuff comes at you from the screen, and you're like, "Oh shit, it's from oh, the yeah. screen!" And at least in yeah. two of the slow motion parts, the stuff that slow motion comes out of the screen for the entire duration. Of the <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic! It's fantastic! Um, oh, really? Man. Yeah, I'm not fucking with this, you. This bullet coming at you at like one centimeter say what it per is. hour um, in slow motion. It's really great. It's really great. Um, <sighs> okay. Oh, no, there's another so, slow um, movie. There's so much slow mo in that yeah. movie. Right. Fuck. Okay. Well, yeah, it's great. Anyway, speaking so of those slow motion, those are the movies motion. I watched. Oh, wait, the I watched. What are you doing? You said two um, movies. Yeah, I've watched two movies. I've explained them and I did all the stuff I've done. Um, before that, it was just stuff I had to do between sessions this of guy's work. A jerk. Because I I was working like at least eleven to twelve hour days for like two weeks, um, so I, I I watched all the ha- the Halo twenty four hour Drew and thing stream. Oh yeah, spread over like five good. days. That was awesome. I, I I've never played Halo, and I kind of wait. Want to explain play this Halo for now. Um, so Drew this? Drew and Alexis on GiantBomb.com. Oh oh, well, Drew and Alexis a website okay, about video okay. games. Um, Which those should now be up for yeah yeah they just now, went right? up yeah so, it's an archive um, oh did they go up finally they sat down for twenty four hours straight I think it was last Saturday or something uh, or mm-hmm. Friday your time and played or Saturday your time and played Halos one two and three within twenty four hours back to back for the kids it was like a charity event for Extra Life um, which it was close it, they got down to uh, the, the yeah hour last on hour yeah and if, if it wasn't for uh, Pasqual they would not have made it like, at all. Did he like? He stayed up an extra three hours Dude, after his like his. Ch- he had the time best line of the night. Finish. He had the best line of the night. He was like, um, I because he did his own twenty four hour cost, but because he's yeah, in he UK had the time, best ending. Um, yeah, and because he, he was did in UK time, he finished like uh, a good like three quarters way through the Drew and uh, Alexis cast. So he joins them. He's like, oh, I'll just join for like one mission for Halo Three, just to help you guys out, and. Like at, at two missions later, he's like, "Hey guys, I'm done, but um, I can't really go to sleep now because I've been playing video games for 27 hours. I'm gonna finish this fight." And I was like, "Yeah!" Well, so, 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 <laughs> something else you guys should know if you didn't watch it. First off, you, you definitely would watch it. But Drew and Alexis are not that good at Halo. I I thought they were <laughs> they okay were until Pasquale got on, and he just fucking rampaged. He was rocking it. Oh my god. Um, like he was tripling their score in some of the missions, um, but they didn't look like they were doing too bad. Like, except they, for some on their there. own, but they they just weren't making great time. Yeah, they weren't making great time. Um, and they're making. They're well, I think, they, I think they made the mistake of playing through the whole thing on heroic, right? Or did they uh, finally well, give up on well, that? Well, yeah, yeah. No, like heroic and legendary. They didn't go lower than that. I, think. I don't think they uh, ever touched was... legendary. I think they just did. No, I don't, no, they they, they did not want to do legendary. Yeah, okay. they just did heroic for they the whole thing, um, which is how okay. you're supposed to play it, apparently, but. Um, there's, it wasn't the game that they were sucking at. It was them, um, walking around a series of corridors and then turning around because they respawned and walking yeah. the other direction for a good three minutes. I, th- I think that oh, actually does because they just get confused about game. where they are. Like they have no, neither of them have a sense of direction. Apparently, um, that's a bad God. one. 
I can't imagine why he'd have a, a bad sense of direction that far into a 24-hour marathon. Yeah. Dude, Pasquale <laughs> was doing fine. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So, so Cynic watched two movies. He played Halo. I watched Halo. And, no, and watched then Halo. I actually played some video games. Um, you played video games. Oh, I played 14 hours spread over a couple of days of Persona 4. Um, oh, fuck. Is this... Oh, you were talking about getting... Oh. Yep, I, I played Persona yeah, Four is. because I, for those who don't know, I love Persona Four and I finished it twice. So I went back to my end game save of my second playthrough and made some perfects. Um, just because I found out something about Persona Four Golden on the Vita. So perfects in Persona Four are um, theorized combinations of skills on very good personas, um, which require what you. What does that mean? It requires you to um, you, like roll. By random chance, skills onto one of your dudes, and and you have to keep rolling until you get the exact combination of skills to make him a. Perfect. That is but, such vivid imagery. I just can imagine what's going on. And what um, you're describing it. So it's literally right me now. me pressing circle up up X. No, circle up X. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Well, it's okay. okay. It sounds a lot it. like it, it sounds a lot it. like breeding in Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Um. Oh yeah, but, hot coffee Pokemon. But to do oh, that, yeah. you have get, to get, get like the perfect EVs and the perfect. Yeah, so to do that, you have yeah. to get the right ingredient uh, personas, and to do that, you have to like fuse those themselves, and you have to train them up. Um, so, it, for example, to make one perfect, I spent about eight hours to get one, and then the other perfect was around six hours, and then I just put down Persona Four, and I'll never play it on PS2 again because the reason I did that was um, Persona Four. Vita edition, so percent of all golden. Um, you can just choose what skills you inherit. So there's no rolling and there's no, none of that bullshit. And they just took out thank the entire God. system. So oh, it's, thank God. it is going to be so awesome that I bought a Vita. I bought a. I finally bought yeah. a Vita. It's sitting next to For me now. Have you, have, you bought, have, have you bought sound shapes yet? No, I have not bought sound shapes. I haven't bought any. I have bought it. I haven't played it yet, but I've told everybody you should pretty much buy it if you have a Vita. I'm pretty much just so. playing my PSP games on it. It's, it's, it's That's all cool. I was doing. Like, I was playing Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty... I, I, I like it. Um, You know, portable Chrono Trigger is pretty nice. Yeah. 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 Though it, what the unfortunate part about the the, the Chrono Trigger um, port is that it is the PS One port, mm-hmm. and so because of it, it has the disc load times um, <laughs> as opposed to the SNES load times. Uh huh. So when you go to pull up your menu, it takes up quite a bit longer oh, than it did man. on the SNES. Dude, the SNES was instant. It's crazy when I yeah. when I look back at that endurance run. Just the weird part about it is that like this port actually still carries that over. That's yeah, it's pretty funny. In my opinion. Like from but, the PS1 era, even though it's not on a disc. I have not tried a PS1 yeah. game on it yet. Did, so do the analog sticks map properly if you play a PS1 game? Um, I don't know because um, Chrono Trigger was not inherently oh, yeah. a, yeah, game, or a, game. Yeah. a PS1 game. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy VII, though, I believe they do. Okay. because um, the I, I think that would only ha- use the one. Uh, but, the yeah. coolest part, I think, about the Vita is... Uh, if when you load like a PSP game or a PS1 game, if you press and hold on the screen, because a, a surprising amount of that I didn't learn that until like a few days ago. Um, you press and hold on the screen, and it gives you op- like options for its emulation. One of the, the first one is like a uh, video filters, and you can make it look pretty or whatever. You can make the colors look more vibrant. Um, but oh, the the more mm. important ones is um, there's a mm. there's a um, control remapping option, which allows you to map your right stick to things in a PSP game. So, for example, I have Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which I'm going to start soon after I finish Assassin's Creed, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, and it allows me to ma- use play Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker on a, the PSP version with two sticks, as opposed to having to use the face buttons and the left stick to move the camera nice. and shit. So nice. it's, it's That's really pretty awesome. nice. Um, so I was, I was astounded. that, it, And also, for PS, yeah. uh, PS1 games, if you press and hold... You can set what you want the back touch screen to do. So I have it such that the top left hand right hand corners are um, L two and R two, and L three and R three the bottom left hand and right hand the bottom left hand right hand corners. That's really cool. What? It's really. I literally I did not. I bought a Vita the week it launched. I did not know about the (laughs) touching the screen thing until last week. I didn't know that the options were different between PS one games. Oh yeah, they're entirely different. um, PSP games. Kind of crazy. And you can set what you can make shortcuts for. You want the front screen to do. You can make the top left hand right hand bottom left hand right hand corners. Oh, that is nice. Front screen do stuff as well. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. 
I love, I love okay, the so piece Vito. Is, is that is that what you've been doing this week? So finally, this, this, at this point, it's, it's <laughs> welcome. You're listening to What's in It with this week podcast. Um, um, I'm your host, Nubarama, and I uh, played bye. Assassin's no. Creed Revelations. Speaking of Assassin's Creed Revelations, um, um, why don't we Assassin's right. Creed what it's Durin's right. been doing this week? Hey, Durin, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> is is Revelations as bad as people are saying it um, is? Um, Revelations. Did you pick it up on the Steam sale? No, no, no. I I, I bought it when it came out on. Oh, PS3. The fuck? Yeah. Um, How long was that? That's Go. like last year or something? Yeah. Uh, b- but it is. That's how long we've been listening. Uh, <laughs> it is more of uh, Brotherhood, I would say. Really? I-, I thought it was like a step down from Brotherhood. From no. What I've no that's, it's, it's that's just, what I've it's heard just didn't do anything new. That's the problem. Uh, okay. um, the good thing is, I didn't play Brotherhood since. I haven't played it since the start of the year. So it's pretty good. I, I like it, and there are a couple of revelations. See, like see I'll be going. I'll be. I'll be going back to back. So basically, right. I should just fucking speed run revelations then. Um, yeah, absolutely, do, absolutely. Okay. The only thing that I would say to do would be um, there's instead of okay. So in Brotherhood, have you played Brotherhood? Um, I'm in the middle of it right now. Yeah. Okay. So in Brotherhood, um, you have those things where if you put an evil eagle vision near a specific building, um, Subject Thirteen has put in like a symbol. Oh my god! Spoilers. Yeah. Um, and that gives you, that, gives you that, that, that unveils like a thing like, that you can watch mm-hmm. later. In this, it's yeah. not quite like that. Um, he's left, or I don't know if a subject there, but there's this animus fragments, which are like flags and two, but there's far less of them. Well, there's a hundred of them in the whole game, but you only need 30 as opposed to needing a lot Okay, but before you go through, through the whole explanation, is it something I really need to do or something I should just watch a YouTube so video of? So when you get 30, you unlock... You didn't answer um, his question. Five... You're setting it up. Five like uh mini game sets which uh doing those reveals desmond's backstory and the actual mini games themselves are pretty cool like um you know you know how patrick recently reviewed uh un- what was it called un something swan unfinished swan unfinished swan oh, yeah and he said swan. the cool section was how he was able to make those 3d shapes in um in space mm-hmm. around him it's kind of like that hmm. the mini games are kind of like that it's kind of cool like they're, they're pretty difficult as well. Like some of them are pretty difficult, but you get the interesting info about Desmond and to play a pretty cool mini game along the way. So I, I'd recommend doing that. Um, that. That's interesting that that's even included because yeah. from the sounds of things, like there is almost no Desmond in that game. Yeah, apparently, apparently a lot of people just didn't do that stuff because there's a good three hours. Uh, no, probably like two hours of Desmond gameplay right there. We just, we just find out oh, wow. okay. all about Desmond. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, I'll definitely have to do that then. And that's pretty much all I've What have you been doing? All about Desmond. <laughs> all about Durin. Yeah, uh-huh. you like that segment? No one likes that segment. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, Durin, what have you been doing? Do- what have you been doing this week? Make um, it shorter have, than Cynic. I, I, I will try to make it shorter, but there are so many other things that I've what been doing. What have you been doing? doing? So I'll just shorten <laughs> all of them. Oh, um, have you, have you played XCOM? Talk faster. Uh, I did not play any XCOM this weekend. Good, because I don't like XCOM. I tomorrow. I played what? some of it and I don't like it. What? I... Cynic it's, doesn't like good games, let's be honest. I think we've well, said I mean, it on this podcast. Not as good Cynic's not as, a fan of Ray plays. He doesn't um, like any of the games I play, and he doesn't like any of the games Durin plays. Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, I, well, I just, we'll have to say that for a different conversation, I guess. Um, XCOM is not as good as Valkyria Chronicles. I just saw one and say. Oh, XCOM is way better than Valkyria Chronicles. Not um, a but shitty No, way, not, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Um, but no, I played, I played quite a few games. Uh, I have played... Um, so I've learned that I should not watch Quick Looks anymore, um, because I just go and buy <laughs> the games. Wait. Oh, so oh. I've played some uh, Quick cook? Serve Delicious. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, there we go. That's oh, cool. yeah. I actually have oh, yeah, seen I saw it. you play uh, that game. I played like, quite a what, bit of it What today. is he playing and looks not good. playing Guild Wars with me? That game is good. It's good. It's really good. Looks good. And it's only like $9. It's, it's insane. What, what exactly And there are some you? fucking, like, high-end Quick Serve Delicious players. Like, there were a couple of them in my chat, like... Talking like high end strategy stuff for their four and five star restaurants, and it just blew my mind. Wow! Uh, but I got myself up to a one star restaurant today. Oh, so you streamed that's, that's this? Pretty awesome. Yeah, I have oh, uh, I um, have a couple different recordings of it that I streamed. Um, I also streamed uh, Chivalry Medieval Warfare. See, I, I have a bunch of friends playing that. I am intensely curious about that game. Oh, really? you should play it. It is yeah. it is so good. I it is know, it man. is literally like it is battlefield set in medieval times. My problem with it is I actually know the German longsword and how to use it. Um it's nothing like <laughs> how you use a sword. 
<laughs> in that game. Well, okay, you also don't have to swing a sword at a guy three times yeah. to finally kill him. But, well, you know, armor some gameplay on, that's actually pretty accurate. A full plate armor can fully deflect a sword. Well, full plate, sure, but there, there's well, only can, one character that has full plate. bullet cynic? No. No? Exactly. Um, I don't know what that But no, like, that game is actually really good. <laughs> like, um, the... the Positional awareness stuff is definitely key in that game. Um, and, you know, the, the parrying is important. If you get a shield, you know, knowing when to block and everything. Uh, they do have a stamina meter that kind of dictates, you know, not being able to just constantly block or constantly swing your, your weapons. Um, it's actually really good. I, I've not touched, I've not touched the deathmatch stuff because, like Drew said in the quick look, uh, the objective stuff is really where it's at. Like, that's, like, the strategy is where the game gets really interesting. Okay. Um, but no, for, like especially for twenty five bucks, like that game is really, really, yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, if it didn't have like some I'm like, niggling problems it. with it, I wouldn't have. Like, and same with XCOM, like I, I just have small problems with them that that kind of ruins my stuff. Yeah, right. Um, so I've also uh, been playing a little bit of um, the Lion King for the Genesis. What the fuck? What? So I went. I went and picked <laughs> up a Genesis last week. Uh, Why? And, and a few games for. Why it. did you pick up a Genesis? Because fucking Jeff and his goddamn tur- okay, turbo graphic stuff. You need to not do what they do. Yeah, no, no. It made me realize, like, the living. Genesis... Well, I've known this for a while. Like, the Genesis is, like, the one, like, major gaming console, especially from my childhood, that I don't still own or I haven't okay. rebought. bought All right. And so I wanted to get one really bad. I, it was only, like, 40 bucks for the Genesis, and I picked up a few games and spent, like, 80 bucks on stuff for the Genesis. Okay. Um... And so I picked up. Uh, it was a pretty good. It was. System. It was. Yeah. The problem is like the 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 local store I bought it from. They didn't have a huge selection of games. So I I, I basically I got uh, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Three, um, The Lion King, and X Men. So like some kind of staples from when I was a kid and when I've, I owned I've the system. I've never played any of those. I don't, I don't yeah, know. I've never played the. The, the, the Disney board. games were so good, and the Genesis versions were the best. Like you should. Get okay. a hold of a copy of The Lion King on the Genesis and Aladdin on the Genesis. Those are the I've two still got, like, best ones I played. Real games to play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get uh, these, these games are real. Yeah, so I played real. those. I played a you little could, bit like, of. You uh, see them in 3D coming at you in slow motion. Oh, dude, so real. <laughs> I need a 3D TV. I played a l- like little right bit now. of uh, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale beta on both the Vita and the PS3. Okay. That game's not good. Don't I, buy that. I, game. I didn't expect it to be. To if you like, if you like Smash Brothers, don't buy that game because it's not Smash Brothers. And I don't it like feels Smash like Brothers, a, so doubly don't buy that game. Well, it, it feels or like kind of a first buy it because you might like it then. It, mm. it feels like a cheap rip off of Smash Brothers. So like one of the one of the yeah. biggest um, staples I feel like of Smash Brothers. What makes that game so good is their um, system of like building up the percent as kind of your damage that. and the higher your percent, the more it throws you off. And that's how you get kills and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, that, and, that's what and, sudden death is, is like, well, in, in PlayStation all stars point. Yeah. Yeah. Sudden death is everyone's at 999% and one hit will knock you off. Um, but in, in PlayStation all stars, they don't go with that route. Instead, what they do is there is completely kind of, there, and completely un, like almost nonsense. Like, like it it, yeah, it's, no, it's not even that. It, it's not even that. It's the entire fighting system is a hundred percent based around build your special meter, use your special to get kills. Yeah. Looks lame. And then on top of it, I don't see anywhere on the UI, um, at least in this beta, where it shows like who's winning. Like I don't know who's winning until the very end. Apparently that yeah. lowers the barrier to entry. <laughs> what? Apparently, no, that, that... Just, they they when they focus tested I I assume. I'm assuming this part. But when they focus tested <sighs> Um, they they found out that people, when given indications that they were losing, lost interest in the game faster. I see that more as like, I lost interest in the, the game because it was battles, bad. When like one person, like when three people have like one or two lives, and one person has like six or seven, there's this sort of unspoken alliance that just damn straight there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and I, I hope that the final game has a stock option because I know that like the the time base that this has, you know, Smash Brothers had that as well. Fucking nobody played it because everybody plays stock. <laughs> um, and it, which is all like I understand why they went the time route for the beta. You know, kind of the idea of a demo. You keep it timed to a certain extent so p- people aren't playing long games. You get people kind of constantly, freshly getting into new games, especially since the beta is obviously you know online only. Mm-hmm. Um, but stock is where everyone plays. They got rid of, you know, they, they didn't take the biggest, like, they, they curved so much from, from Smash Brothers, and they didn't take the biggest, most key function of that game that makes it work. And, and so what you're left with is a very, very mediocre Smash Brothers clone. I, I just, I hate, okay, so I, 
Sweet Tooth is pretty fucking awesome. I said awesome, earlier though. that I don't like Smash Brothers. It's an okay. I, I like it. I loved my experiences with it. The, the game itself is what I have issues with, and that's because at the same era where I discovered, um, me and my friends discovered Smash Brothers, we also discovered Street Fighter 2. So there was, there was this, there was just, it was a line in the sand and we chose Street Fighter 2. But, um, so the one element of Smash Brothers, Smash Brothers that I really liked was how competitive it can get. Like just how it's crazy yeah. desperate. You can start being, yeah. especially when you like knocked off especially the when side, you get out of that one playing life. Fox, Star Fox, because obviously, because he's awesome, and you're able oh, to yeah. like rocket back on that, like that clutch rocketing is, was such a good feeling. But you just you just don't have that kind of like um anywhere near that kind of like tension in in this, at least from what I no, I've absolutely seen. not. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Like the game just feels like utter chaos all the time, which is what some people well, like, but I. Yeah, I, what yeah, I, I enjoyed is, is there like you can still get those tense moments of like a person who is you know back to the wall keeps getting back up sort of thing, uh, or you can go to the complete chaos mm-hmm. that well at least I think is, is better chaos is when somebody picks up the smash hammer. Oh god, I hate that. We oh, always yeah. turn that oh, shit off. Man. We always do. They turn have the shit moments off. like that. At yeah, least I, will, in I this always game? turn. There's no well. There's a couple items in the game. Uh, there's um, there's a rocket launcher that is basically a one hit kill. Uh, if it hits somebody, you can shoot it in a straight line. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's like there was a thing you could throw at somebody. It was like a, almost like a sticky grenade kind of thing. Like it stuck on them and they blew up. And then there was like a, a double bladed sword or double bladed staff that you could use, but I never could actually hit anybody with it because everybody was too fast. <laughs> okay, so, so nothing that ju- nothing that just goes into jokingly mad anarchy. Like the music even changes with the, the smash hammer. Yeah, nothing yeah. that I saw. No, it seems like the items are very limited, at least in the beta. Again, maybe this will change in the final release. But you would think they would want to show everything, you know, yeah. all the best that they had, given what they're up against. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's just it didn't really grab me. I was I'm, I'm a big fan of Smash Brothers, so I was kind of interested in this idea because you know more games like Smash Brothers the better because they don't make them often enough. I feel like, but what this is not the game, game that Smash Power Brothers fans Stone, want, wasn't it? That, yeah, Power Stone. That looks cool. I've only seen the quick look with that, but that looked cooler to me than Smash Brothers did. I, I liked some of the things they did there. Anyway, there's, there's definitely room for stuff that cribs off Smash Brothers. Like that, there's no yeah, Power Stone. As long as they do it right. Yeah. But I, I just, I just feel like you know that game didn't do it right. Unfortunately, it's 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 yeah. it's, it's unfortunate. But you know, I'm glad I was able to at least play it in the beta and not just go out and buy it and be kind of mm. hurt by it. Yeah. Uh, one last game that I played, aside from a little bit oh. of Game Wars Two, um, I also played a bit of the Primal Carnage beta. What's that? And what, what is Primal? Is that, that the new Manhunt game? Uh no primal no 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 you're thinking of uh Hotline Miami. Okay. Um, oh, that looks no, that primal looks, carnage that looks pretty cool though. That looks good, yeah. For me. I almost crazy. grabbed that and then I grabbed uh um uh, um chivalry instead. Uh but no, uh primal carnage is the they did a, a quick look at EX of it um, on right. giant bomb. It's the um dinosaur game? humans versus dinosaurs. Yes. Yeah. All right. That game is really good. Oh, that yeah. game is so good. Like oh, they yeah. do such a great job of balancing and making the humans actually as fun, if not even more more fun so, than the dinosaurs. They balance a T Rex to work. There haven't been there. There've been plenty of games, like surprisingly more than you would expect, of humans versus dinosaurs games. Right. The cool thing well, about there was this that one, Turok game, like Dino D Day. Yeah, like Dino D Day. Dino D Day is wonderful. Um, the cool thing about this <laughs> one, no, one is it's it's actually, actually a looks like awful a good game as well. Yeah. Which also this game looks is, like they're, they're building well it in balanced. Like a team based like fighting pr- like proper fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's very balanced uh, between like what the the humans can do, what the dinosaurs can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very very team based. I mean, there's a dinosaur, the the um, uh, what the hell, the flying one, Pterodon. Uh, sure. Isn't it like, like well, um, someone will message the, us the, and correct us? But yeah, the probably. flying one. The it's yeah. the thing that used to be called the pterodactyl, which is wrong. Pterodactyl. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a pterodon. Yeah. The dinosaur um, formerly known as pterodactyl. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but like that one is you know it, it's, its special ability. Pteranodon. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. That doesn't sound um, right. That one, like its special ability, apparently is like a kind of a radar sweep. So like yeah, you fly yeah. up and you'll use it, it and like, it'll show it all the dinosaurs. Things. Yeah, it'll it'll mark all the enemies for the other dinosaurs oh, to be able to see. Or like the T Rex really is cool. special. They do a roar and they that roar like like buffs every other dinosaur in the area. Right. So, like, it's very, very team-based. What, yeah. what is the UI for the dinosaur like? Um, they're really, they're, oh, there's man. no UI for Yeah, there's them. not it's really... Just, it, they keep it really open. Uh, dinosaur's a third person, whereas the, like, oh, humans okay, are first, first person. person. Okay, I thought if it yeah. was yeah. first person, that would have been... Okay. No, no, yeah. Dinosaurs can all see each other, but only with the pterodon's help can they mark, like, 
this there's a person Humans, right here. Yeah. No. Um, and then also like Left for Dead with dinosaurs. It's sort of like Left for Dead, but in an arena format and yeah. not a point A to point B. Um, it's like it's kind of. Yeah, it's 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 like it's like natural selection minus all of the RTS stuff. Mm. <laughs> so um, it's not like natural selection. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's, like it's, they, they even go so far I as think like Left for Dead is a really good comparison to make. It, it is a yeah. asymmetrical multiplayer um, game. Uh, it's yeah. it's definitely like in terms of the gameplay being able to see your uh, your friends, but it's definitely a open world. It's not yeah. like a very tight space. Yeah. yeah. What I what I'd say the thing I love when they like they ask the developers how the balancing issues are, they said uh, the balance more comes into the level design than like they have the the classes nailed down mm. now they're just trying to make sure that there's not one level that is more overpowered for one side right. yeah and like like there are there are like uh um med kit points and like ammo points for the humans to get their their ammo back and get their health back right. but also and for the dinosaurs there are like dinosaur corpses around the, the yeah. level that they can go up and eat the dinosaur corpse and gain health back as well right and, and what i love is that there's points like there's cages that are specifically designed so that all the dinosaurs can get in except for the t-rex yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> which is cool Totally cool. But do you yeah, have to so earn like the T-Rex, or is... can you just pick it off the bat? No, there can only be one T-Rex yeah. on the field at a time for every 10 players in the game. So if you actually okay. have like a 20-plus game, you can, and I have done this, you can have T-Rexes, two T-Rexes out at once, and that is fucking insane. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's pretty nice. cool. I, I I probably still would never play a T Rex. I'd, I'd prefer to play. Um, yeah, I played it a little bit. I actually, the Raptor. Yeah, the Raptor yeah. was was my favorite. Yeah, they're very they're very much like the Hunter from Left 4 Dead. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you can see like striking similarities but, between the two. But games. with adorable tiny arms. Mm -hmm. Yes. And well, they can't it, wall jump. It's there's similarities in that there's some of these well, they're essentially archetypes. Like the T Rex. Well like the only similarities and, are like there's both dinosaurs, right? Well the, the 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 dinosaurs themselves, like the way they made it work in a shooter kind of context is that no. they essentially no. made it's essentially a class based shooter where the dinosaurs mm -hmm. themselves are classes. As opposed yeah, to just, there's yeah. definitely differences between the dinosaurs, and they need to work together to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, and and, and the one place where it definitely differs from Left 4 Dead is that Team as a work. dinosaur, well, well, that and as a dinosaur, well, no, Left 4 Dead has plenty of teamwork. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just yelling I, out teamwork because oh, okay, because <laughs> teamwork. Cause teamwork. Cause as, as a as a dinosaur, um, unlike in Left 4 Dead, when you're playing the infected, you just kind of get randomly assigned one. As a dinosaur, you actually choose which dinosaur you want to be. Is there one per, one dinosaur at a time you can play, or like? Um, the only the only limit that I've seen uh, no the only limit that I'm seeing is on T Rexes and you can only have one out per ten people in the game. The selection process um, is like but I TF. believe for all the rest of them, it's very less. Yeah, a lot like TF. Yeah, TF two. Okay. Sorry, TF two. TF two. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've been playing this week. Cool. Right. So a lot of a lot of different games. Okay. So um, third Blaton. No, oh, what? No, no, no. Speaking of T Rexes and things that start with T. Oh, speaking of T Rexes oh. and Thurb Rex. <laughs> there we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. How Senate. did you know that I'm secretly a dinosaur? <laughs> He's wearing green. <laughs> He's wearing green. <laughs> People don't know that. It's an audio podcast. Not for us. Not don't for worry, us. Don't worry. I'm taking lots of screenshots for, my, for myself and the audience. Okay. This is for your, your personal yep. collection. Yeah. Personal collection, yeah. Well, not that I don't have pictures from your streams you do all the oh, time. But there's that's, some that's amazing the... scenes in Paranormal. Paranormal Activity 4 has the cool, well, probably <laughs> okay, one of the most so, accurate so representations while, of a 20-year-old person... dude. Like, horny 20-year-old guy. What are, you, what are you doing? What? It's, it's, it's like, if what, I, what are you like doing, the character Cynic? in that movie is, like, someone I know. Like, and the, uh, multiple people <laughs> I know in real life. Like, he's perfectly written. Perfectly written. I, I don't so, understand yeah. what... Okay, sorry, sorry, but Cynic apologized. Because I, I say this thing. because um, he records secret videos of people sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <Thurbleton. Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> like Nubarama. So that's, that's exactly why he came up. <laughs> okay, uh, Thurbleton, what, what have you been up to this week? Um, really, I, I've been, I, I have been catching up on just like all the, all the news and everything that happens, as well as the absence of a podcast last week hey. led me to. Look into other like I finally got into uh, the Nerdist and checking out Tested this week as well. Ooh, podcast. Wait, See, I, I wanted to do a podcast by myself. I am a man who lives in a rock under a rock. Oh my god! No, you, you're a man who lives in, the country, in from a dumpster Iraq. in a park, according to what I'm seeing from your video footage. 
What? What? You said I was outside <laughs> for... Yeah, you just said yeah, it was a, a park. park. A dumpster in a park, apparently. Yeah, like in front of a dumpster. Mm-hmm. A park. Can't you see that? He's painting an elaborate wood picture. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, granted, yes, I do live in Portland, but it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Is it full of masters? Uh, what, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's that what I was going to say. No, I've lost it again. Yeah. Fuck. All right, so what, what have you been playing this week? Of... Uh, well, I'm I'm gonna go through the whole oh. list because I really haven't been playing that much. Um, but what I <laughs> tested podcast, done... not the tested podcast. Yeah. Uh, tested first podcast. and foremost, uh, the archive of the 24 hour tested charity stream should be up around when this podcast goes up, probably, yeah. mm-hmm. which you should probably check out. Um, but on top of that, oh, you should absolutely check out because I heard that there is some really interesting stuff that um, Adam Savage says about his wife and. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it, it God, is what super drug was it? Sexy, but no. I, I, I don't know. I haven't watched okay. it. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. This is going to okay, be my well, fuel between it's... drafting for work. I actually, I, I, literally, I literally fell asleep listening to the podcast last night. Like, I, I had it open on my, my phone right. with headphones in my ears and just fell asleep to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's also going to be an audio voice? Going out, probably on Mixler. Um, probably. But on, on top of, I want to say that if you're getting to the tested podcast right now, the Adam Savage podcast, the, the Adam Savage project, which is on, like, it's like 20 minutes long, but it's every week, so there's like, there's like 14 episodes now, is awesome. It's probably actually better than their modern podcast, because their podcast, I think, has gone a little bit down in quality. Yeah, anyway, yeah. as you were saying, uh, Yeah, as I was saying. <laughs> before uh, uh, before Cynic <laughs> interrupted you, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. He's refusing to apologize. Jesus. I'm not going to apologize Grow to up. you. Apologize to the man. Sorry, Thurbleton. It's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. I love you. Love, love. I hate New Brahma, though. <laughs> wow. Guys are um, no, I, I've, I've been... Uh, I, I saw Looper, which... That, that oh. my, my briefest of movie, How do you like movie it? reviews is... I really enjoyed the movie mm-hmm. and loved it mm-hmm. until it was done. <laughs> what do you mean? What, do you, what, what does that even mean? It's... I, I think this just might be you an don't issue like the ending? with... No, the ending was great. Okay. The ending was amazing. It was my favorite part. Okay. It was it was just like it was beautifully done and it's just but it's I think it's just cuz the issue of time travel. Oh okay, when, when you done, looked when you thought back about the movie, it yeah, fell apart. When I tried right. like comprehending the movie. Right. It just my my brain just kept like but that wouldn't it, it, ah and just little things about the movie. So uh, that movie had probably the best explanation of time travel in a movie I've ever heard, which is the two main characters are sitting at a uh, at like a, a Wait, table. are you saying it's better than Back to the Future? Yes. The, the two are, are people you... are sitting at a table across from another, and he, the guy from the future is talking to the guy from the past, and the guy from the past goes, so wait, time travel? And the guy, essentially. And the guy from the future goes, yeah. don't ask me, just it's all fucked all up. forget all that. <laughs> yeah. You, you just don't understand. No one understands. And then that's much it. That's that's the explanation of time travel movie, which wow, I love. I don't know. I still good. think the flux capacitor is a better explanation of, of time travel. <laughs> yeah. I I just like I because they realize that there are obviously holes created by time travel in any plot you make. <laughs> um, yeah, and they they kind of address it, which is the, they're just, they, so they're basically just like just don't think about it too yeah. hard. The, the part yeah. I didn't like about because if movie you do, the this whole movie face. will unravel. The kid's face when he gets angry pissed me off, which is entirely. Oh, we're getting wild Revan. Okay, so yes, so what uh, happened uh, was um, we we called up Revan and apparently um, I can't think of a story. So hi Revan, <laughs> hey guys, all right Revan. Hi. So hello. So Revan, yes. are you are you are you recording right now? Yes. Okay. Right. okay. I'll, I'll just write down the uh, time thinking time that, when you join the. Yeah, I was just thinking this is going to be fun. Yep. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. So so okay. Thurible to continue about your wild sex party or whatever you were talking about beforehand. But oh I, man, I, I missed I know that. Those are, those are easy <laughs> to amazing. It's, it's cool. Horse. He streamed it. You you You'll missed find out later why. talking about pretty much everything at the moment, like current current in the, in the world, yes. except for Ghost yeah. <laughs> Two. Um, for the last hour yep. or something like that. Dur- Duran, you're gonna throw something through. <laughs> the yeah, people at me? listening to this podcast, we fucking hate you. Yeah, fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> what you gonna Wait, do about it? I'm throwing something through the internet. Why? Come fight Come me, at us, bro. Yep. Uh, I was uh, I I told myself that as soon as I woke up I'd start like getting like all the way through Dishonored today, and then I got on, figured I'd check what our set right, like ranking is in World versus World, 
and then seven hours later took a break. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I can't, I can't say anything. I played the Lion King instead of Dishonored. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got nothing, man. Wait, what the fuck do you do in the Lion King Genesis game? <laughs> what is that? You, it, it's, Bio. it goes through the story of the Lion King. So, like, where I am in the what game do you right mean now because is this, when, Are you playing Simba? Oh, okay, so the first level of the game is just like, like you play as as young Simba, and you're just kind of getting through the level, and you have to like fight a hyena at the end of it. Is it a platformer? Uh, the second oh. level, yeah, it's a platformer. Okay, um, it's like- it, it, the second level is. Like, basically, you're playing through the um, I Just Can't Wait to Be King song. Okay. So you're, sure. like, jumping off of hippos and Oh, so it's like, it's like those beat stuff. songs. It's like Dance Dance Revolution where you gotta jump. No, no, no. Yeah. I, ju- I just wow. mean, like, you're playing through the visual sequence of that. Durham um, has to go on all fours in front of the Xbox Connect. Yes, yeah. yes. Better with Connect. <laughs> what you're describing to me sounds like those optional side missions in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Two, where you had to play through all the musical no, sections of the Little Mermaid. The worst, the worst one of the entire of, of the entire game, I think, uh, was there's a sequence um, where it's it's after um, it, it's a stampede sequence from the movie, and oh, okay. the problem oh. with it is, oh are, god, those nightmares are coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you god. remember, you remember, you're running towards oh. the camera. The wildebeests are coming from the back towards oh, you, man. and they try to do fucking perspective this is, this is like with 2D sprites. Bad flashbacks to <laughs> my childhood. That that movie scarred the fuck, fuck that level. God damn! I'm just that I'm movie. just trying to figure out how you would do perspective on a Genesis. Yeah, you don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Because it doesn't fucking work. I'm and just imagining just like the, the goddamn level that, ex- that just expands in size. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, so where I'm at in the game, actually, I, my, my Genesis has been running for days because I won't turn it off since, you know, there's no saves back then. Um, where I am in the game is I am adult cinema now. Um, and I have returned to Pride Rock. Oh, wow. Matata. To take back I got past, the there was actually, there was a level called Hakuna Matata. And I got that past farther that than I thought you were going to be. Dude, I thought that's you were going to be at the point where you meet, what's the female lion's name? Oh, Nala? Nala. Oh, they, yeah. they skip past all that shit. That, that's not oh, even what? That's not even okay. a level. What? You, there's oh, no. Shit. It's fucking weird. You literally go from like like young Simba when he's like like after the stampede and he's running through um like to, to escape or whatever. I think it's called Simba's Exile. Okay. At the end of that level, you like jump down into the thorns mm-hmm. and then the two yeah, like, hyenas come up on there. Chasing, yeah. Yeah, like hyenas come up on there and say, you know, ever come back again, we'll kill you. Literally, like two seconds later, like it goes it fades to black, fades back up. You're adult Simba. Oh, later. It does, does it even say like back. X amount of years later? Or just fades? fuck nothing. Just <laughs> fades, fades up, black, fades, fades back up. You're, you're you know this shit's fucking movie. The, whatever. Come on. Kuna Matata level. <laughs> you jump around the jungle with Simba and Pumba. Oh, oh no, sorry. I take that back. Timon and Pumba. No, I take that back. You do the Hakuna Matata level as young Simba, right. and then after that, you that that's when you then are suddenly. Um, adult Simba going through the sequence, like getting up well, to. I mean, the, fuck. The let's be guys. honest. Wait, we don't know how fast. Wasn't adult there a young adult Lions Simba, like a, a teenager Simba equivalent? There yes. Was. Yes. Yes. No, not there wasn't. No, I mean there was. There was during the Kino Itata sequence. I mean, in the movie, but it was literally like a couple of frames. Like, there was like one frame of him. Yeah, yeah. And then it, was, it was during that song when they're frame. walking across the log. Yeah. And then, if I'm not mistaken, they might have made a movie out of that section of where he was a teenager. Oh, maybe. Isn't the, that the, the same? I think that was Disney. was that Lion King two and a half or one and a half or whatever. No, it might be it might be one and a half. God, we were going way too fucking deep in the Lion King. Yeah, we fault. Fucking are. <laughs> okay, this is what have I done? Um, I, should have, I should have played more games. <laughs> you should play more games. No, I shouldn't have bought a Genesis. So what do you, comes do down you just to. not like Dishonored, or is this? Well, no, I really okay. like Dishonored, and it, it's I definitely want to get done. Like I, I played a little bit of it. Last week, but it's just like a, this I is just a in, really I, bad time to be trying to like yeah. entrench yourself in a game. Yeah, yeah, a game. Um, and it's just like I, I, I spent a lot of time. Uh, I, I do want to give props to uh, Korgash because last weekend I like I was while Drew and Alexis were doing their uh, twenty four hour thing for. Uh, oh right, Life, yeah. I was with uh, Korgash, aka Maca Cork. I'm re- Reading that right, yeah, Mac Cork, as he did a twenty-four hour Guild Wars. Uh, he went from level one to level thirty-six, I think. Guild Wars two in twenty-four hours straight. Nice. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Wow. Dude, again, I need to point this oh, out. Oh, speaking of, I, whoa, 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 I need to point this out. Hey, I'm thirty-six divided by twenty-four. Exactly one and a half. God damn it! They wow. fucking nailed it. They've nailed it. Wow. Every time I've lost a one, one and a half hours of level, it totally did it. There you go. I, I just want to say, last week also what. <laughs> What Thurbleton decided to do was was something really cool. 
It's like basically we. Wait, was this you? I don't remember. Fuck. I don't. Don't. don't I, they don't pay me to remember. Anything shit. you say, I begin right. not to trust. <laughs> so basically, it was like <laughs> we, got all, we got all of like the lobies. So like level three. Yeah, that was and Fives, and then we had a bunch of level eighties oh, escorting yeah. them from the Asura starting zone to um, what was it? Black Citadel? Or no, Holbrook. Holbrook. No, we went to Holbrook. Yeah. And, and, and we did uh, like one round of that beer smashing game. Oh, how'd you like that? I've never pl- I okay, still bro, yeah. have not played it. It was fun. Yeah, I still haven't uh, either. We, um, some people decided to pussy out and not go to the level 70 zones. And uh, yeah. Right, Thurb? <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever you say, yeah. leader of this podcast. Yep. Yes. Okay. Leader. But no, it's, no, yeah, it's, it's dear leader. It, dear, it it right. <laughs> say yeah, it. I'm sorry. Dear Dearest leader. of leaders. Dear, uh, I bet you. Could, I bet you'd be shot two, two for claiming to be a dear leader if you're from North Korea. <laughs> no, man, you, I have no. a dear leader license that I bought on the internet for fifty dollars. So I, fuck you. He, he is the lucha dear leader. Uh, ooh, Lu- lucha dear leader. You're yeah, saying he's abbreviating it. Play on words. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, yeah. Basically, it's uh, with World versus World. We like to do things like you know, the World of Wednesdays, and then like a Friday and a Saturday. We had a lot of fun on like last Friday. Last Saturday, there was, like, nothing to take. Aww. We had taken the whole map. Oh, that's pretty cool. And so we were like, well, we're going with plan B. We're going to get, like, some level ones, and Corkish was with us as well, and he's, like, level five, and he'd already done some things. And we're like, all right, we're just going to run across the world and do giant bomb escort mission. Go for it. That's pretty cool. Like a big dynamic <laughs> Yeah, event that, was, that sounds kind of like the stuff that we were doing maps. during the beta. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, if... We, like, you know, have an event plan that just doesn't pan out. We'll just, like, you know, that'll be the backup. I also we'll wrote on like, a piece of paper how many times all of us died. I think oh, it God, went up so to, like, deaths. 34 people died out of 15 people that went. Um, <laughs> and another, and and another like, 105 <laughs> were downed. I will say part of that was because we did, we were stubborn and decided to kill the giant in the char. Oh, oh yeah. Town of oh, we, 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 there was, like, this, yeah. So many deaths. Right. Um. It was a sad day. Is that fight well, still a little I'm bit unbalanced if... for me, Lee? Pardon? Yeah. Well, no. Um, I was in melee for a lot of the time. It's just you have to know when to dodge. Yeah. Well, no, because for when I did it, he would do three stomps. So you couldn't. You'd always get hit by one. Uh, yeah. I think they scaled it back. Yeah, they um, but of course, I was doing dodge, dodge, block. Oh, so that's fancy. But what, what are you, you playing? You have to make sure you have a mesmer. Ah, okay, of course. We have two blocks. Ooh, that's fancy. That's that's that's, that's pretty cool. Man. That's the only time I use a scepter when I have to tank. <laughs> Such um, a bad weapon. No. Um, <laughs> uh, sword off hand. Like, yes. Well, no. I have no problem with the sword. It's the scepter. I just can't get my clones out fast enough to burst well. But anyway, mo- moving on to games I play. There is one other game I've been playing. <laughs> moving away from Guild I've- Wars for a second here. <laughs> Yeah, moving away from Guild Wars so we can transition. <laughs> crazy. We just went to Guild Wars. Guild Wars. What are talk. we doing? Uh-huh. Oh my! I'm sorry. I failed you all. Yep. What are we doing? We're a tenant in your brain case. We're the we're the, the rents. Jesus, we're an hour and fifteen in. No, an hour in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, I I've been playing a game that I, I guess I I've contractually obliged uh, not to talk about, but I will say on a completely unrelated note, talking is a lot of fun, <laughs> or at least will be. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it yet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Has your mother. Yep. I think I, can, I think I can hear wait, 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 the lawyers. Wait, 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 but if you haven't played it, how do you know it's through good? the NDA? I've just seen gameplay footage. Oh, and it looks and really fun. And that game looks the on, game looks so real. It's like you're playing floor. it. Hey. Based off that, yeah, sure, sure. Right there, like the, the game just looks so real. It's like you're playing it. Yeah, it's like I'm there now. That's this is this is not a dumpster site in Portland. <laughs> this is Durbleton actually lives in Hawken. Yep. Yes, he, he lives in the code. The Hawken virus has struck. Future Tokyo? Nation. Wait, no, where is it? It looked like Tokyo. Oh, I've been it's to just, Tokyo last week. It's just in, like, some, the ruins of some place, right. and the, it's the Hawken relates to the Hawken virus, apparently, according to the lore on the wiki. Okay. I haven't played it yet. Okay. So, um... New Barama. What have uh, you been doing this week? Thurbleton has... What? No. No. We, no. Stop. Stop wristing the control of this podcast. <laughs> okay? no, you need, you um, need, you need the last man? guy who hasn't... Who's Revan. To, to Revan. ask you what? what you've been doing. Otherwise, you never get but, to hear what Revan's else here. doing. <laughs> okay, Revan. Revan, doesn't, he okay, Revan. Revan is okay, allowed because yeah, he, he came in halfway right. through. <laughs> so what What? What I did this I'll week walk was, um, was actually pretty cool. It's walk like on. I've never gotten to do this before. Um, oh, let me just come up with a story. One second. 
I'm fucking out. No, cut this part. We can come no, up no, no, with no, no. a cut totally true out. story. I'm guys. trying to think of a story. Cut this part out. Okay? Oh no! Oh, I did actually. Me. No, while, while you're thinking of a story, noob, I did play a Wii U. <gasps> oh. Uh, so I, I don't know if anyone knows this, um, but Best Buys around the areas have been installing Wii U units. Oh, fuck! So Isn't that coming out check really soon? Best Buy. Yeah, like Next in month. a month. Oh, okay. I thought it's it was like really soon. Uh, <laughs> for a second, whatever. Oh, sorry. Uh, about three weeks. Some... About three weeks. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Fine, so I played one uh, a couple days ago, actually. Uh, I'm not my sure local you guys Best know Buy this. Coming from a retail person. Christmas is coming soon. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Um. And, and well, my impression was about two months soon. ago. My my impression coming away from it was. Eh. He asked, "When's Christmas coming, or why is Christmas coming soon?" Oh, um, I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> it's coming soon. Well, third, right now, you know the rules of this does. podcast. Apologize to Duran. But no, anyway. Um, I no, uh, I, I yeah, I, I I played the the Wii U and I just kind of it's it's well, a video what, game okay, console. No, no, no. What did you play games. on the Wii U? The only thing yes. that was playable was Rayman Legends. That looks like that looked like a. If I didn't hate Rayman, yeah. that would look like a good game. To me. <laughs> That's the thing. That that looked like a solid game. It played like a solid game. Mm-hmm. It was in proper, um, you know, HD graphics. Um, I did play a little bit with the. Uh, he looks the dumb. Touch thing. If people are asking why I don't yeah. like Rayman, he looks dumb. I just don't like his character <laughs> design. I don't want to play Rayman, but like but I wasn't, I, can I wasn't, it yeah. as a game because and, and, they kept I, the series going so long and still kept it. Quality, yeah, not I wasn't even, I wasn't even looking at like the the Rayman parts of it. I was looking at it as a Wii U game because that's what I was there to to see. Okay, yeah. and in that respect, it played like a video game. It you know, I have a question. Proper HD. Was yes. the controller wired when you played it? The controller is be. attached to the the um, kiosk. Yes, I mean they always do that. No, with no, 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 it's it's wireless, but it's it's handcuffed to a Best Buy. Yeah, like there's like well, th- no, That's there was there was actually there's this like <laughs> there was like this uh, curly, really, really like tense wire attached to it. Um, that was kind of but the actual the back controller it itself wasn't didn't use that really thick connection wire, did it, to the Wii U console? Um, yes, it did. I knew it. Because I, I swear their wireless technology is nowhere near where they fucking say it is. Because every time <laughs> they've sewn it, it's had a huge honking wire between the controller. Well, this was a different wire, though. This was a different wire. So maybe it's not actually connected like that. Maybe, like, it was a white wire. I didn't really pay maybe attention was, to where it was connected. Maybe it was connected to, like to keep a charge. I, maybe it was connected it might, to keep It might have been. I'll have to go back and look at it again. I'm doing inverted um, comments right say, now to my keep store, it I'll, charged. I'll post you guys up on that. Yeah, like, what I, what I will say, though, is, like, I did do a little bit of the touchscreen stuff on it with the the little flying dude or whatever. And like that stuff works. It's kind of neat that, they, that it was like literally as it was doing it on the, on the little touch screen, it was happening on the TV. Okay. But it didn't really have that wow factor that the Wii had when I first played it. Yeah. But I don't. <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't walk wow away from factor. it being like, I need to fucking have the this good thing, thing now. About it not the, having the Wii the had the wow factor, factor because like. The Wii is that it means that this isn't a gimmick. It, it, yes it's and actually no. is something that w- you look at it and it works as you would expect it to work, and therefore there's no wow. And that, that's probably a good thing in the long run, to be honest. It would be a good thing if that was how every game on that console was played forever. Right. Unfortunately, the majority of games are going to be played with a Wii controller of some sort. Mm-hmm. And that's where the system falls oh, wait, flat. You should, you, I don't know. Maybe the first run, like the, the launch window, inverted commas games. But I can, no, because I nothing, no, no game will support more than two of those controllers. Right. Because that console doesn't support more than two. So but you can I, never I, have. I, play, I, would, I play most of my video games alone. I hate to say it, guys. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I'm the same way. But I'm just saying that, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I worry for that console when they are still sticking so strongly to the Wii. The problem with the, the problem with it is, it wouldn't be an issue with them being able to support the Wii controllers on that console as a, a, you know a secondary control uh, method. Mm-hmm. If the console was packed in with the Wii U gamepad and a Pro controller, because that would tell developers and consumers that the standard two analog controller layout is the preferred method it's it's the standard for the system by including a wii controller in there i believe there's a wii controller no in there. there there is a wii, yeah but they expect you to have one which everyone I, I believe oh yeah, that's right that's right yeah. um but by not including a pro controller they are not emphasizing the standard dual analog um, control scheme and in order to have a um, dual analog controller you aside from the gamepad you would have to go out and purchase a purchase one 
but their games that are, at least on this first run are all, you know, Wii controller for the most part, Wii controller um, controlled. In fact, that seems to be the preferred method for Pikmin 3. Like, that has me worried because... That's Wait, you serious? Pikmin controls are Wii controller focused? It can, it can be played both ways, okay. but apparently the preferred method is with the Wii controller. Okay, Wii, so like the to say that, that makes matchup. sense because it was originally developed as a Wii game, but nah, dude. <laughs> I don't want to use that thing ever again, really, like to be honest. You yeah. got something new now, let's use that, please. Especially because like the, the kind of one-to-one kind of feel of the aiming and stuff could easily be um, done with the touchscreen. Oh, yeah. De- definitely and and on top of that and and, and, and there are accelerometers and stuff in, in the controller yeah. so even you know up down left to right you know forward backward motion is all easily done with that controller there's no need for the wii u controller you can you can emulate a um an aiming with that controller without having to actually have you know the sensor bar and the the ir stuff going on it's um, so it's just it worries that, like um, i said it, polygon i think it was reported recently that the I think it was Polygon that Nintendo is taking a hit on the Wii, Wii yep. U. Yeah, they, they haven't have, said they haven't said they, they haven't said what the hit is, but they are yeah. taking a hit on the console. Didn't they announced that at their um what was it their New York thing or Japan? Oh, maybe, they had an event yeah. sometime this week, and they announced that. Yeah, it's like the it was, first yeah, it was, time yeah. on any of their consoles ever taken Except a hit D- at launch. 3DS. Well, the first time at launch, yeah, the 3DS didn't didn't take a hit at launch, but when they did the price cut, then they were they were taking a hit. That's crazy um, to me. That has me concerned. Yeah, for Nintendo. If they're t- their entire strategy has been built on we make money from day one off of these consoles. Yeah, if they're not doing that on this. Uh, yeah, like what? What? I'm I'm a bit worried for Nintendo with this console because it doesn't have that wow factor. You know, the games that are coming out for it. Like when they ran that that story not too long ago about Assassin's Creed Three on the Wii U and how they said it as as if it was a plus that this game will play exactly like the other consoles. <laughs> And and you look at that and you're like, this is supposed that to be a sh- next gen console. That shouldn't be a plus. <laughs> that should be like a, yeah, we we understand this is a launch game, so it's going to be like the, the other consoles. But you know, that's because it's a launch game. You know, our our next games will be much better. It shouldn't be like, hey, don't previous- worry, guys, this thing won't be. You know, this won't won't have half the features. It'll be, have all the features the other consoles do. It's like eh. well, going on your previous point, though. I mean, I would expect that if you're going to play Assassin's Creed Three on the Wii U. You're gonna need the standard controller, which yep. it doesn't come with standard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, so it comes, like it, you'll need the gamepad, which it does come with. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so I mean, that's, that's where most of that money, gamepad, that's where most of that cost goes. But yes, at that point, hey, it plays like it does on the 360 and PS3, and you're controlling it similarly like how you did on the 360 and PS3. So, hey, do you want to pay? What was it? Three forty nine or so for the yeah. the, the good. Uh, well, when, when they were when they were saying that, they were mostly saying like they weren't cutting any features out of it because it was a launch game. Like you know how like Madden when it launches with a system, they tend to put the bare bones stuff in there just to be able to get it out at launch. That was basically Ubisoft coming out and saying like, hey, you know, this will have everything. It'll have multiplayer. It'll have you know um, in any modes that are in the other consoles. It'll be just like those. You know, resolutions will be the same. All that stuff. Um, <laughs> these but, these aren't they marketing take out of Matt. I can't wait to see what they take out of Madden to get it on the Wii U. But hey, you'll be able to just like, do your plays on the thing, and that definitely makes up for everything you've taken out of the game. Where, where, where I think, where I think Nintendo may, and I don't want to dwell on this too long because we have been going on for quite a while, and that kind of gives worse. Um, no, it's, it's it's fine, it's good, it's okay. But where I think Nintendo may still have a chance with this, assuming it takes off, and it, you know, pre-orders are all sold out. It, it seems like it's going to do well this Christmas at least. Um, but. I think a lot of people who are already kind of coming out and saying, you know, Nintendo's doomed, this is, you know, this console's doomed, all this other stuff, basically because they're saying, like, oh, well, this console only plays games, you know, the same as the current generation, so it's going to be the Wii all over again. It's like, no, that's not actually true. The fact that they're able to make these games look just as good, if not slightly better in some instances, than... um the 360 and PS3, like this console is more powerful than those. And I think a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people are expecting the next Xbox and the, and the next PlayStation to be much more powerful than they're actually going to be. Like Sony has, and I've said this numerous times, I, Sony has been on record as saying like, they are not going to be cutting edge on I, their console. I think that that is less well, they important. Don't have the, they don't have the money to do that. It's, it's less Sony. important no. than the fact that the um, Unreal Engine 4 is made to run on those. And we've seen what Unreal Engine 4 tech demos look like. 
That's right. that's what we're saying. It doesn't matter how fucking. But have, how have, but have we are. seen that? If that's ha, what have we have we heard look like? That's fucking gonna be have we heard that that Unreal Engine Four won't work on the Wii U? Uh, n- I don't know, but I'm almost certain because I do know that the <laughs> um, I believe it's the CPU mm-hmm. is purposely underclocked. Right. Is that a and and that's something that could easily be altered later on with a software update similar to what, what the, the, they did with the uh, the 3ds. I I guess, but. Uh, that's the CPU. Well, the, re- the reason why I say that's important is because it's it's not so much that like you know the the it's not so much like the consoles are you know not going to be as powerful and that like where where it's important is this won't be like the Wii to the the PS3 and 360. This thing won't be leaps and bounds behind both in terms be. of control and uh, graphics. Like they can easily get ports to this console the same as. There will be with the other current generations. Like you're not going to see a ge- or, sorry, not gears. You're not going to see a Call of Duty game released on the PlayStation and the Xbox and not on the Wii U. That's not going to happen anymore. But you didn't see a Call of Duty game released in those two and not on the Wii. That, yes, you did. Well, yeah, you, you, did. you you've you had a Wii version of it released simultaneously. No, 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 no. You didn't have a Wii version of a Call of Duty until two years after oh, right. it launched on the right. yep. uh, other console. Weird That's... Call of Duty Four game was the fucking weirdest thing I've ever played in my life. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is though, is it wasn't the same game. Yeah, like, oh, they had of to change not. so much. They made it for the Wii. Game. It's the same with that Dead Space Wii game. Mm-hmm. Have you guys played that thing? And, well, and that's yeah. and that's why. Yeah, well, I haven't oh, played I've it. It's on the rails it. shooter with two people. It's pretty good. And with that's the on the PlayStation now as well. It's really good with the PlayStation Remote. Yeah, yeah. And, and and that's why I think that the Wii isn't going to struggle, ne- or the Wii U isn't going to struggle nearly as much as the Wii did, because a lot of those issues. I mean, a lot of it did come out of, of horsepower. Like the system just clearly wasn't as capable as the others. The games could not be made in a lot of cases mm-hmm. on the Wii like they could on the others. But also, and even more importantly, was the the control issue. Yeah. The people who released multi-platform games and wanted to make one for the Wii, they would have to make a whole other team yeah. just for the Wii version. Just to figure out how it And work. that won't have to happen this time around. It's true. And I think that, and, and, and there are some developers already coming out and, and talking about how easy it is for them to develop for the Wii U. And that's incredibly important for Nintendo. I, I, I guess. I, I still, I can't see myself purchasing a Wii U. Like, for example, I didn't buy a Vita till like last week because I was waiting for Persona 4 Golden like in my heart to, to, to for me to realize that, that game's <laughs> coming out and therefore be excited and therefore buy a PS Vita. I, it'll have to have something of that caliber that's not Bayonetta 2 to make me buy that system. And I, I don't think... I, I'm just hurt what, you didn't what about you a... bought a Vita with the things you've been doing in the past No, he did. Weeks. <laughs> yeah, he I did. did. I didn't oh. start. It's just that it went that, for so that was long. Part of the oh, core talk. That you yeah, <laughs> you, already, you already forgot. Yeah. But no, I, I think... People now are backtracking I, the podcast. I think Cynic's for, <laughs> wait, wait, I, wrong. What the hell? No, we're talking about Cynic's week. That's what this podcast is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, Cynic, I think for a lot of people, um, that game is going to be a 1080p uh, Mario Galaxy. Like, that is going to be a system seller for the Wii U. Maybe the next Zelda will do it for me. I don't know. I don't know. If, if, if Zelda looks like the tech demo for the Zelda, even though it won't, because they're obviously going to go for a new art style going forward, but, um, yeah, if that's what they deliver, I'm going to be happy. Yeah, and, 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 and now they finally have the capability to do that, and that's that's really, really interesting. Like, that's probably the biggest thing for me and why I'm kind of interested in the system. I'm not buying the Wii U expecting it to be, you know, my Xbox 360 for this generation. I'm buying the Wii U because I know I'm going to play the new Mario games. I know I'm going to play the new Zelda games. And I cannot fucking wait to play them on actual HD system. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think New Barama is kind of freaking out silently in the background for those who can't hear the podcast. Um, New Barama. And I'm loving every minute. <laughs> Mr. Host Guy. I'm the ho- oh fuck you're right okay take um, the reins so so see L- Luch, Luch, us, your us going way off off topic there Wait. that was that was your job to bring that back <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no 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 I dropped my notes. Uh, typing into in order. typing into okay. Skype I don't know what's going on <laughs> <laughs> does not bring does not hey, bring man. the podcast back I don't know man. I love not hosting okay. I can just do whatever the fuck I want um, uh, <laughs> great okay wait. <sighs> Oh. Riven, what have you been up to? <laughs> no, 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 we don't have time for that. Right, Riven, I, think no, for the, I think for the sake of the audience, let's go ahead and move on to Guild Wars 2. Yeah, I, oh, fuck. If, if anyone's listening right now, I, I guess we should tell them the magic word already, because I'm sure we've lost about... 
80, I don't know how, so. how how were the, how were the numbers on the the last one we actually did Fuck out because of half of that podcast was us talking about XCOM. I guess, but that was an hour long podcast, wasn't it? We're at an well, hour that's and sixteen true. minutes. I know we just, we literally did an hour. Okay, quarter. so so I'll, the next thing no, was, next yeah. thing on the podcast we, we did is, jump topics though that was um good. okay what I have written here is plugs. So <laughs> that's the end. <laughs> is it you? Oh shit! Complete right. failure. Um, <laughs> I know in North Korea they do things backwards a lot, like right to left with reading, but you don't read bottom to top. Okay, 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 okay. This says discussion. What do we do? No, guys. No, the worst part, okay, for anybody listening, listening, Noob wrote this out himself. That's the worst part. I did, I wrote it. Okay, so um, I guess guess we'll move on to the news. Um, So news this week is... um, Are are you doing your your, uh, English news? There's fucking literally nothing to read. All right, I'll read it, I'll read it. Oh, there's News. News. Okay, that's Something what happened. Um, <laughs> so what what's happening what? is well, I guess well the big thing that's happening is Halloween, which you guys talked about. I know a lot on last podcast. No, but, no, but um, so we didn't. They, have well, a, no, we, we, last time we talked we about you, you. We brought it up, but we didn't have it. the information yet. Yeah. Right, you we talked in speculation. On. Yeah, right. So hopes. we're gonna have like a short discussion later on. But um, so I guess stuff that's rolling out for Halloween that's gonna be new is of course there was a there's a supposed to be like a big thing that happens tomorrow at noon pacific um so yesterday you guys have or two any days ago so at, at, up. at the time um, of time of listening to this time to be released right. it happened two days yeah. ago why okay. weren't you there <laughs> unless you're watching on youtube like, tell which, me what in happened case, in the three future days ago. Yeah. <laughs> three days ago yeah okay yeah three days ago so three days ago um any speculations <laughs> on what happened three days ago? We're, we're just going to go through like our theories, and then we'll just chop out whichever ones weren't true. Right? No, that, but I'm just gonna um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming because what what I thought was, and someone else pointed this out, I believe it was Albina joke was there was there's like this big lion statue in Lion's Arch, you know the one, right? So basically, what they made it was it's all rusted and broken, and it seems like there's some sort of light emitting from the inside. Um, I'm assuming like Mad King that- Thorn fucking bursts out of that tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Riven actually has a theory about that if he wants to. There's a whole. I spawned in the Lion's Arch one time because of all the overflows and uh, it didn't load properly. And I saw oh, right. a you gigantic told me this, right. hole underneath where the statue should be. Oh, wow. And it's not like, oh, this is just like an infinite darkness hole where they didn't render anything at, down there. They like There's a bottom to it. Ooh. That's cool. So I think there's hmm. probably something hidden down there. That, that is cool. Well, are you sure that it's not cool. the. Um, the underwater, like the original stuff of Lion's Arch, but just like going. Yeah, no, because it, no, because it, like it, it clear, it didn't like just like go straight down. Mm-hmm. It like sort of, it was curving, so I could tell there was a bottom, and it wasn't gonna, oh. and it wasn't gonna hit the water. I don't expect there to be like cause they're, they're, they haven't put any fighting straight up in Lion's Arch yet, but I imagine Te- it's... well, technically, because there yes. was that glitch where <laughs> the uh, candy corn enemies and all the Halloween monsters were spawning outside Lion Arch. I mean, that was far reaches is how, uh, that was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's it more than likely it's just like we'll, we'll be able to see something as we jump down into the madness. That's kind of mm-hmm. cool. Or or maybe the Mad King's down there chilling, waiting right to the, I don't know, but this. I feel like once Mad King comes, I feel like that should be a finale rather than yeah. because it's not even yeah. Halloween well, yet. Yeah, yeah, actually, good point Act about that. That would be weird. ArenaNet has done some research and figured out that uh, there is a, a certain time in which the majority of the people are online. It's the middle of the day for North Americans, right? But they said that um, Act 3, because there's four acts with the Halloween stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are in Act 2 as of the time of this recording, right. which act we will, we will talk about the madness that has ensued. Well, actually, no, the, no, sorry, the sorry. Act, act 3 was two tower. days ago, and Act 4 we'll get is there. right we'll now. We'll get the ribbon. <laughs> we, have to, we, we have to, you know, save the showstopper for later yeah. on. But Act 3 is supposed to happen uh, in like... Two days ago. Yeah, t- noon Pacific. Two days ago. The zero GMT. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, no, not Sunday, zero yes. GMT. No, that's that's negative. Zero that's GMT minus, is eight o'clock. Minus seven yeah, GMT. That's, eight, uh, o'clock is, is eight, uh, eight o'clock Eastern. Eight o'clock Eastern Standard. That's five o'clock Pacific. Yeah. God, I hate time zones. <laughs> Why can't the world just be flat? Yeah. Why can't yeah, it be agreed. flat? It is flat. Well, no, it, it's it, just it they want eight, you to think it is. Minus six. Mm-hmm. But I can see us. It'd be minus eight GMT. The horizon. Um. Anyway, it's supposed to happen at noon PDT on Sun the twenty eighth. So yeah, Sunday. So two days ago. So yeah, I, I just think it's neat that they've like narrowed down and and ArenaNet is trying to do these events that are pseudo like one time. Well, no, they they specifically like, you know, get... said this is a one time only event, like day four, the right. the fourth one or the, and the third one are supposedly the only time that's going to happen, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. Um. 
But yeah, the, the things that have been been happening with Act Two are really pretty cool. They they've uh, uh, up the like with Act One they had all these like doors showing up around the world and lots of stuff happening in Lion's Arch. They really ramp that up, and people have access to um, a place called the the Lunatic. No, what was it called? Lunatic. It's the, Mad, it's the Mad King's the Court, Mad King's and the, la- yeah. the Lunatic's Labyrinth is one oh, of okay, the yeah, yeah. areas. What, what, what is just one of the many things that you could have done right. during Halloween, Ruben? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking jumping puzzle. <laughs> right, Which but I've actually again, gotten substantially I better preface, at. I want to preface, before he started this, I warned him in earnest not yeah, to do it. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get, which is funny because when I got when I got on, that was the first time yeah, I. Yeah, before we get started on that, let's let's just explain what it was. Yeah, be, wait. So with update two, I have some what? questions. So I was I, I obviously why well, I had to miss most of Halloween stuff, even though I could possibly get on today and tomorrow to see the end stuff. But I don't think I'm having have the time. to make money. But um, yeah. Um, what was crazy to me? So this is supposedly a four chapter thing, right? How long yes, did the first yeah, chapter yes. last for? How long did the second chapter last for? Because um, it started last. Um, the chapter second chapter or... came in. No, yesterday. it started Tuesday. Started so Tuesday. second Tuesday, chapter Tuesday, happened yeah. for on Friday, um, if I recall correctly. So yeah, Tuesday for the first chapter, Friday for yeah. the second factor, factor right. chapter. But the actual like all the Halloween decorations factor. went up like last week, right? Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Really? Only that recent shit. It's been long. Anyway, so I got on and there was like a freaking multi gear or multi hundred megs. So like six hundred or eight hundred megs of downloads just for this patch. And I was like, that's crazy. Because if you play Google was one, like the Mad King stuff wasn't that spectacular. It was like pretty much Nine's Arch. And- well, not not all of it is Halloween stuff. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a new jump. A good portion of it, like, you are, you are reloading yeah. maps. Like, that was the coolest thing. Like, I Because I bumped back into um the, what was it called? The PvP Isles. Or what, what do you want to call them? The Mists. Yeah, I love that they that, did that. And it's all different. Yeah. And I was like, holy cow. I- Wait, they changed the mist? Yeah. That, yeah, I love they sent some loving to the, the mist as yeah. well. It's been it's Halloween, really cool. Halloweenified. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they haven't oh, changed wow, the NPCs nice. and stuff. Like, I was expecting the NPCs to be in the like, Halloween. No, actually, they have. have they? Um, as, of, as of Act 2, someone like the, the uh, battle master and whatnot. <gasps> oh, that's cool. It's like a guy with a pumpkin skull head. Oh, that's awesome. I have to they go back to the NPCs in Love Love, too. That's yeah. cool. So, yeah, that's like. Love Love is annoying. The Doliak are ghosts, and I can't see them from afar. So it's like, <laughs> I'm not like, hey, free yak. I'm like, hey, there's nothing there. Let's keep going. <laughs> like right. this, it's cool. Like there's, there's there's like green fog, and there's like pumpkins everywhere, yeah. and that that was awesome. Like they did that stuff in Guild One, but like the commitment to it this time around, the amount of art design they're throwing at it is actually kind of crazy. Um, actually, favorite thing if if you didn't get a chance to see any of the Halloween stuff, just like ask for a screenshot, but. A candy cane elemental is just the oh, candy wow. corn. Idea. That's candy cool. Candy corn. Right, it is actually candy cool. cane. Next, next holiday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> make it so. Well, in the original Guild Wars, they just had like those elementals were just ice with like a snowman. Yeah, with, like, with the snowman top hat. <laughs> that was. That was. And I'm like, come on. That was cool. In, so, that was cool that? in its but own what way. What the fuck is that? I hope they keep it that way. <laughs> yeah. Don't change anything. Exactly. Because let's be honest, that the candy cane elementals are exact same as before. <laughs> that, that same polygon count. <laughs> yeah. Literally, <laughs> yeah. the textures are. Just, Exactly as they were in the original. Guild That's Wars. awesome. Herb, have you seen the like the family sized candy corn elemental? It's a champion. Right, yeah. So I fought uh, that once. That's, oh, that's crazy. That's wait. What, so wait, right. what are these and where are they? Okay, so basically the update not only changed existing places, but they added completely new areas to the game. Really? So what? What the yeah, update they did the was is, it like, created the Mad King's realm. Oh wow! And within the Mad King's realm are four different primary areas. So there's the Mad King's Labyrinth, which is the main general area you come into. Um, there's the Mad King's Clock Tower, which we'll talk about later. Um, and there's two PvP kind of games. Wait, so, so how do you get there? Which would, I've never seen. I didn't see. Um, so basically is in Queensdale and Gondaran Plains. Um, there's and these Keswick sudden, Hills. And Keswick yeah, Hills. Pretty, there's pretty there's much four the, the, human, the human generated yeah, zone. The hum- because this yeah. is like a human relatively holiday. a human holiday. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, but it's inclusive for everyone, so don't yeah. call them out on that. Um, <laughs> that candy corn so, is everywhere. Actually, it's I've seen I've been in the char territory. I thought and was able to find one. No, don't. That's um, disgusting. No. Well, no. It's I. I will say. <laughs> I, yeah, I believe there was something in Plains of Ashford. Yeah. Pretty much Queensdale though is the right. best place. It is the best yeah. place to find anything. Because oh, yeah, they're it everywhere. Every shows up on the map. Of, yeah. The map. It's really polished, and I'm really glad that like ArenaNet designed it this way in terms of like 
to get to the stuff right. for the holidays, go to the starting zone. Yeah, right. it's really cool. Like I played a lot of other MMOs, and when they do the holiday stuff, like it's kind of there. You'll see the decorations, but you'll you'll inevitably have to ask somebody like, okay, where do I go to do this holiday stuff? Right. And like I even I even I even did so when I logged into Guild Wars Two because that's what I'm used to doing. Mm-hmm. And then when somebody told me, well, just go to Queensdale, I was like, okay. So I loaded into to Queensdale just outside Divinity's Reach and literally just fucking little pumpkin icons little all pumpkins over my on the map. map. Right. Just everywhere. And so I was like, awesome. all right, I'll just head over to one of those then. And it just, yeah, it's it's so well explained That's compared awesome. to how other MMOs do it. Yeah. Uh, so what those pumpkin icons represent are like these gates or portals that lead you into the Mad King's realm. So the and Mad King, you right. you start off your adventure. Um, there. Right. The craziest thing to me about this whole thing was that apparently the Mad King has not been seen in Tyria for 250 years. 250 years. Yeah. What? Yes. How convenient is that? That's, That's stupid. Actually, <laughs> five, actually 500 because it was 250 from the first Guild Wars. Oh, no, no. He it's died 500, 500 years now. ago. Um, right. Uh, but, but he wait. showed up in the original But game basically, game. like, he's not showed up at all since the original Guild Wars. Yeah, right. exactly. Like, specific- what, what a convenient excuse. That was, that's Holy so dumb. Shit. That is so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Almost too convenient. <laughs> <laughs> like, bond. By what? I, I, I really hope, the reason I brought that up is because I really hope they at least somewhat explained that. I mean, well, don't you like, know? Maybe ask for they explain that. Nothing happened in Tyria for 250 years. It's true. It's all yeah. true. It's true. Nothing <laughs> happened in Tyria. <laughs> Nothing. Except Logan <laughs> Thackeray was born, and that, I mean... <sighs> okay, so, um, yeah, like, there's two PvP things and two PvE things, mm-hmm. and I guess we can run down the PvP things first. Um, so, the two different PvP things they added in the zones is um, there's an Inquisition game mode, which is kind of like, um, what, what would it you call really it? Fun. It it's, is actually really fun. Explain it's it to very, me, there. very much themed like the, uh, it's a, it's if anybody game. played in the beta, the, uh, Hunger oh, Royale, really? I think is what they call really? it. Really? Really? Yeah. It's that same sort of format where it's like you have, like, you don't regenerate your health as one of these two people. You you, you start off as a villager. Um, uh, it's, it's pretty much like an I started off sort, naked. Sort of My character kept on starting out naked. I don't know why. Well, you are the village. <laughs> idiot. Uh, <boy. laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say. I didn't want to say what does that mean? Whore. My mom keeps on calling me that. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, Wait, your mom keeps calling you the village idiot or the village whore? <laughs> the village whore. The idiotic village. Wait, um, so how many people are yeah, involved as a villager. in this PvP thing? Um, I, there's like 20 people. Yeah, about, about 20 wow. per group, okay, I'd say. Cool. It's yeah. tricky because you only know how many people when they're near you. Okay. Right. Like it shows up, like it updates constantly on the left side of the, like the, as a team sort of party right. group. And the objective is to just survive as a villager. Okay. Right. And you can do things to help you, like, have... There's some NPCs that, uh, if you give enough stuff to them, they'll spawn things to help fight the ghosts. But pretty much, it's you have to survive the longest. So these 19 people play as villagers, and then one person becomes a ghost, right? Yeah. And this and, one... And the, yeah, oh, go ahead. The ghost has a whole different set of uh, things to do. Like, they, they have... Uh, they can actually fight... Um, the the villagers have to rely on like picking up a, a bone and then like hitting it on the guy's head and like that will crack the bone but then he's stunned and you can run away or a web to mobilize. Oh wow! Him. So you can't kill him. You can. You can't like you you can but you have to be really good and really sly about it. It's Either a bunch like, of villagers teaming up. Yeah, or, you have to team up yeah. with other villagers. It's like it's teamwork. Okay. Yeah, team. You are not that skilled at fighting <laughs> no. as a villager. Cool. As a ghost, you are really skilled right. at fighting. Interesting. You can fear guys, you can jump on top of them. Or one of the coolest things that I love that they did is it goes right with the Mad King. Your skill bar, like the right side of the bar, is uh, Mad King says X, like ponder, laugh, cower, okay. whatever. And you target a bad guy, like you target a villager with it as a ghost, and they get a pop-up and only three out of the five things are there. Oh, cool. And you have to like stop read the uh, emote chat and like Mad King says do this and you have to mimic That's it. That's awesome. Oh, if, like Simon says. <laughs> yeah. If you do that, you can get away. That's cool. If you don't do that or if you don't res- like res- reply quick enough, it's not like shit goes That's wrong. Cool. What if what if I'm a disabled person without any fingers? Then You're you shouldn't be probably not playing Guild Wars 2. How are you playing Wars And I'd recommend getting like a Luke arm or something. <laughs> um, wait, or so that why is this called Inquisition? Um, because no one suspects it. Okay, yeah. it's basically like <laughs> it's, it's, it's lunatic it's, inquisition. It's basically, as a villager, yeah, the best way to do it is hide. You have a skill that makes you invisible. Yeah. Um, for, well, 10, for ten seconds. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. But it works, is what I found. There, there's um, some good spots you can like hide on the edge of the map. Yes, there and are. Pretty much everyone dies. Um, okay. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And then the second game mode is an, a mobile-like game mode where um I haven't played that yet. 
Uh, so basically, hey, wait, wait, wait. is this like is this mobile like Rumble. as in how me and Durin keep insisting that things are mobile like, no, or this no, is actually no. mobile like? Right. It's mobile like from someone who played mobas. Okay. okay. So <laughs> what, what do you remember? What it was called? Thurbleton? Rumble. Uh, it's like Rumble something. Yeah, something Rumble. Uh, Reapers, uh, Reapers Rumble. Rumble. Reapers, Rumble. Reapers Rumble. Yeah, Rumble. perfect. Okay, so basically, it's the team or the game is split into two teams. I forget what it's like five, six people for team. Was it something like that? Um, and so each one are are on each side, each team. Uh, what else? There, I'm trying to remember. I played this today. You know, actually, like, like MOBAs. Ago. Like MOBAs. And then, so there are mobs, like MOBAs, and then this game, or the map is symmetrical, and each team has three mausoleums they need to keep. And the point is to either destroy the other team's three mausoleums or take a bunch of pumpkins from the other team's mausoleum back to yours. And um, okay. that's how you rack up points. Hmm, cool. And... Um, so it's literally you get custom weapons, and then there's mobs of skeletons going on around. Do you get custom skills, way. or is are you just bringing in a build? I don't know. I've only played one round of it. Custom um, skills, I think. Okay. Yeah, you get I custom sh- skills. You don't bring your own skills. Um, so I, you. Ba- I remember I'm I got. Pretty like, sure guardians sites. don't have an axe and a pistol. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure about that. Not a hundred percent. I would play no. a guardian if you could have an axe and a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining a guardian just straight using an axe and a pistol one hand. Yeah. Other hand. I did have um, axe skills with my uh, what is it called scythe or whatever it was that they give me. Either way, mm. I thought it, I thought it was quite fun, mm-hmm. but it was a MOVA, so I didn't really give a shit. Okay, so I stopped sure. like that. Yep. Yeah. One one other game mode, just to make Riven squirm even more, because I know he wants to get this out. Uh, uh, but okay. is that they've added just permanently? This is not just for the holiday. You can do this at the time you're listening to this. Is uh, effectively, it's sparring with costumes. Yeah, costume, costume brawl. brawl. Yeah, you can do it anywhere in the world. Just like you, you get on your town clothes in like a certain costume, um, like even the punching gloves, which is yeah. the only thing I have for my guy. But like it's you just have sort of costume brawls. Well, what does that mean? So if if you see another person with a costume just running around in the middle of the town or whatever, mm-hmm. anywhere literally, and yeah. you and you attack them with your costume skills. So each costume skill now has attack skills, and then you mm-hmm. initiate a costume brawl. Which is like a small little mini game. No one dies, no one gets hurt, but basically you get like uh, buffs and stuff well, like that that I, tell you what points. When you I do are. it, people get hurt. I feared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so when basically, I, it, I, I, feared, right. I feared some dude in the Wuv Wuv. Oh wow, wow. <laughs> the Mad King's outfit. Nice. Um, so basically, you use your costumes, and other people use their costumes, and you use all of the special skills that were included with the costumes. It's like a really fun little mini game. Um, and then you get like What's costume also champions, something like that. Really awesome is uh, hopefully when these things sprout up in like r- really big groups, like towns or what have you. Mm-hmm. When one person is doing really well and it just keeps winning brawl after they brawl, they get a crown for twenty five consecutive wins. Yeah, and yeah, so just everyone up. just looks at him yeah, and like, say, "I'm that, gonna kill yeah, that guy." Everyone just suddenly starts piling on that. Just <laughs> it visual. just paints a target right it's over cool. his head. And then he times like out and just stands uh, there. Yeah. And and speaking of costumes, I also dumped twenty dollars into costumes today, and I fucking hate myself. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I probably I put I like twenty dollars on. What'd you buy? Man. I think I put sixty. I bought. This game. I bought. Um. I bought the Mad King Thorn costume for ten for seven hundred gems, and then I bought another two hundred gems with gold. Okay. And then I bought this like phantom mask or something like that, and then a witch's costume, and I have two hundred gems left. I don't know what to spend that on. I'm fairly certain the things that you got are permanent. I don't think there's anything temporary. Yeah. No. Nah, no. There's nothing temporary. Uh, I'm just time. saying like. Well, no, they're they're, 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 they're temporarily available. The candy corn. Yeah. Wait, I dropped um, twenty bucks on stuff. Revan, how in the fuck did you spend sixty dollars? Uh, I what? bought the Mad King costumes. So that was like ten ish, yeah, or close to ten. And then I bought a bunch of keys just because I felt like it. Okay, oh, <laughs> great, great. <laughs> but but well, okay. Well, I, we should point out they have added yeah. some new things to the chests. Yeah, that did. are specific to the the Halloween stuff. Oh, really? But they didn't like. It, yeah. I, I guess people just they're actually like special weapons they have a really high drop rate with the chests. Yeah, but it's they, still it's still don't. pretty rare. And like this whole thing flamed up of why like we've wasted so much actual money. You guys lied to us. Like, <laughs> lied to me. I wasted seven hundred dollars on chests. Why didn't I get anything? They're like I got nothing. It's like well that's RNG, and it's called gambling. Out of man, this, go to Vegas. Yeah, out of this uproar, they sort of made like you know. A compromise, and for like anybody who does have, uh, who did do the uh, holiday stuff and has a ton, ton of candy corn built up, don't just get rid of that crap. You can use that plus the boosters and whatnot that you would normally get from uh, the chests, and you can use Mystic the Forge. Mystic Forge to make 
a like a lock and key chest, oh, not a chest. Coolest piece. thing about Halloween by far that I, that I can think of is that the Mystic Forge now this is a huge fucking cauldron in the middle of um, oh, that was yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah, and 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 so like if you jump inside, like you do a little jumping puzzle yeah, to get up around it, you, it. you jump inside, it spits you out as a random costume. Oh, really? I didn't know you. Could so like, I jumped in there, I got I got spit out as a plastic spider. That's cool. And then you get sworn by everyone that is the Zerg of the costume. Ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's great. That's pretty awesome. It's great. Oh, I fucking love this. Yeah. It's, it's think, such good encouragement to buy costumes. I think that's Such all of the Halloween events. As the, don't you think Ribbon? so? Oh, wait. Uh, no, 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 no. We forgot yeah, one thing really all, important. Uh, no, I think that's all of them. No, the scavenger hunt. Oh. The scavenger hunt. Yeah. Oh, the scavenger hunt. That's right. Let's get that before Revan. <laughs> right. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. There's there's nothing else after the scavenger hunt. But, nothing um, else would have pissed people off. Yeah, basically, what the scavenger hunt is. Well, the scavenger hunt pissed a lot of people off. What is the scavenger hunt? It's basically... Is this the scavenger hunt? It's... It's a literal scavenger hunt across yeah, like you... Tyria. Well, not Tyria. Crita. Crita. Okay, right? cool. The human settled zones. Um, and it basically goes around. You talk to ghosts. You, you look at riddles, and then you find hints, and then you do events, and then you, you get a scavenger hunt. It was a little tricky because you had these clues to go off of, and then you had to like use this device to look for ghosts. Right. Um, I really hope with the next ones, it's not like you can actually – it's tangible. You can see the thing in the game uh, so rather than just like you right. – during yeah, the f- you, had to, you had to use this like ghost device to like right. when when it yeah you have a detector you have nothing to maybe someone's here right. um, <laughs> um only the p only the premium members who got to see my webcam got to see what I did there <laughs> yeah so uh, but yeah they, 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 so like hot. they changed animations wow. and like oh, okay I'm gonna start wasting candy corn to spam to see if there's a ghost here okay right. um but the thing is so there were originally six different clues you could do uh in the first act and mm-hmm. with the second ad they added six more so the first one gave you a book you can put on your back um is a book of mad king thorn or something like that right yeah it's, yeah. it's the mad memories back item right. they've added or something oh yeah. and then and then the next six they added with act two gave you a flaming book to put on your back that actually apparently, is like source, actually, apparently. Yeah, that, yeah it's yeah. literally a burning book that that sits on people your back. people it's use it in the dark room that's awesome right. <laughs> um so we're wondering whether or not like in the next two updates they're gonna add more to that because the original book said, oh, this book seems incomplete. Maybe you should find more stuff. But now the second book says, oh, everything's complete. This is the complete edition. So I'm really curious on what they're going to do yeah. with the scavenger hunt if they update it at all. Hmm. They oh, could, I do need to... They could do an expanded it, edition and then the true final edition. <laughs> yeah. Volume 2. Yeah, I guess one minor thing we'll, we'll go over. And just as a reminder, like Riven needs to show me this darkroom puzzle. But they've added, they've added three puzzles and they updated a fourth one to have an achievement on it. Um, so it's just it's more stuff wait, in the by world. Puzzles, you mean jumping that. puzzles, don't you? Jumping yes. puzzles, yes. Permanent yes. jumping puzzles so in the world. They, no, 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 the no, one, kind of so one's Halloween, but that's unimportant. It's actually really shit and really easy to do. Mm-hmm. But the rest, yeah. uh, I haven't tried them out. Um, they're just regular. I, I did it on like a Norn and a Char already. It's it's super super easy. Um, my my friend without any arms, legs, or a mouth or eyes. Wait, is he lying? Is he lying? For, fuck try. Norn and fuck Char. <laughs> Uh, I did do <laughs> it. I did do it on my giant Norn named Wario Mario. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the the last event that um, they added in Act, um, act Two. What, what is, I like to call uh, Mad this King's event clock is tower. fuck Arena Net. That uh, clock tower. I've, Ma- I've Mad gone King's clock tower. So before before you get to this story, yeah, before you can set it up. Go ahead. Mad King's clock tower is a new jumping puzzle they added specifically for this event. Um, and basically, when you go there, everybody goes there and kind of is as a big group. You know, each instance of it or whatever. Um, and it's basically a timed jumping puzzle right. as you're attempting to jump up it. Um, and you're kind of jumping around this clock tower. Um, so they combine the two of, of the worst things in gaming, MMO yep. platforming and, as, as you're and doing that, timers on your screen. Yes. That's great. And as you're doing no, that, there, like there green, green smoke <laughs> is coming up, green smoke is coming up as you're doing it. And if you fall behind and fall into the green smoke, you then reset back to the beginning and have to wait mm-hmm. until either everybody else finishes or fails in order to try again. Yes. Um, you can do th- this. There's a third third element to this that is you are doing it with other people. Uh, right? yeah. Absolutely. So 20, if you're playing it with, people. say, a Norn or a, a Char who are fucking or, gigantic. Or six Norn and three Char. Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> Um, what? Good fucking you luck seeing your goddamn character. Pieces of rubble that are blowing, like exploding right. off. Oh, the clock yeah. Tower. We're, we're, right. we're talking and about you're pieces trying to that aim are, that at like be... tiny pieces of rock that are covered by giant Norn and giant Char yeah. standing on it, so you don't know where you land. Or maybe like, or maybe like you know, long two by fours that you're okay. needing to try to jump to at, at a long distance. So I think we've set, uh, set the picture. 
Riven, go. What do you mean, go? T- tell the So, okay, let, let me just... Tell your tale. Okay, so basically... <laughs> tell us... This was Spin a, us a web that is the tale. So, Riven, Riven tried... Yesterday, Riven, I, I hopped onto the Mumble server for a bit before I went to some sort of charity fundraiser. And uh, Riven, everyone was sitting here yelling and doing this puzzle. And I'm like, it's a fucking jumping puzzle. Are you fucking serious? Stop yelling. <laughs> and then uh, and then Riven described to me what happened. Would you describe to me what happened? I, I got so fucking mad doing that jumping puzzle, I chucked my mouse at a fridge. Wait, is there any specific broke, part no. of the jumping puzzle that you... All of it. The entire there, thing. There, are, there are some very specific places that are, are, are the worst. Um, there is, there's one where there's a very tight right hand turn. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also one right hand turn. Well, yeah. right, there, there's that one though, where it's like a really sharp, right to that really yeah. long jump. Um, and then there's also the, uh, nearly vertical, uh, cog wheel that you have to jump on just right. Otherwise you'll slide off of it. That sounds like the right. fucking, um, that was not actually the point where I threw the mouse, the point where I threw the mouse was the block that's covered by the green smoke. It's it's pretty much as you uh, like I'd say about halfway up this this jumping puzzle, you're constantly turning right, and it gets to this part where there's these two fairly sized thick like you know okay I can easily walk these things chunks of like cobblestone I guess mm-hmm. like parts of the things like a wall be made of mm-hmm. brick and they're pretty solid chunks. You get to that and then like you don't see anything to the mid right. You have to actually, actually to, like turn the camera noticeably and you see this one tiny like you know. Square shaped, yeah, probably like what, like maybe brick. three foot by two foot brick, yeah, like the size of a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you can la- a children like, you can, size six shoe. You can land yes. on it. You can't walk on it. Yeah, you have to quick like land, jump again, right. and then you go from there to I think just like a plank or something. I think it was a cogwheel or something. You, well, you go from there to uh, another no, um, stairs, larger stairs, piece, right. and then you jump up to some stairs from there. Yeah, um, and, and so just. Usually, by the time you've made it, unless you were on top of your shit, the the goo, like the ooze or acid, whatever this stuff is, it's it's all the puke from all the candy corn people have eaten and then thrown up. Yeah, it's slowly I, rising up. Is it really? Is that really what it is? No, I but it should be. I, I I would hope that'd be people great. Say it's ooze. Uh, anyway, so there's a, there's one other like cloudy, really kind of dude. irritating part, and that is, is the like, leap of faith. Oh yeah, that, there's that a there's a off. jump where you have to literally I, you're climbing up this whole time. You're just constantly going up. Um, and at this one point, there's nowhere to go up. You have to jump down, and it's so far down that you will do the the you know flat fall flat on your face animation and have to stand up. Okay, that's cool. And if you are behind in just the slightest, when you do that fall, the time that it takes to do that animation is too long, and you will be succumbed or taken <laughs> in by the, the green stuff. And you have to start over. That's f- oh, mm-hmm. the, be- the one of the best times I've had on the puzzle was when I failed one time because I was going too fast. And where I normally jump, because I don't jump on to where the chest is on the Leap of Faith. I jump to the right <laughs> of it. It wasn't there when I jumped, and I just uh, missed it. Oh, see, I thought you were yeah. going to talk about the one where you ended up messing up because you got completely thrown off because I was actually behind you, and you weren't expecting anyone to be there. And then you just ran off the edge. <laughs> yeah. They also stuck a chest a in the of middle those. where people would stop yeah. by thinking, completely yeah, there's, there's, the there's, the there's, there's a puzzle. This is yeah, there's a chest chess. halfway through. Like, right after that jump, there's a chest there that you can go over and try to grab. Don't fucking grab that because it's nothing. <laughs> you die. It's just there to fuck with you. The best part is it's, the guy who made fair. the puzzle said he put the chest there, so if people aren't finishing it, they at least have they at least get something from it. What's in it? They, yeah, right. As I think op- that's it's just, just candy corn. Yeah, it's just as candy. they're opening okay. the chest, they're just crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, and then okay, so, like, it's once true. you finally make it to the very top, you're at you're the very, very top and you're at where the clock itself is at. You have oh, to then wait for right. the clock as it's spinning around. You have to wait for the clock. I actually have something for you. I have some, uh, this is going to give you a laugh. Um, I was, like, we were getting real stuck on the drop part. We just didn't, nobody looked down in, like, mm-hmm. the group of jumpers I was with. And when we finally like, figured that out, like, one person made it ahead of me, and I was right behind them, and, like, apparently it actually splits in, in the last part uh, before you do, like, it goes to the, the stairwell to the clock tower. Uh, I kept going one direction. But when you reach the stairs that make this 90 degree turn inward, I tripped. What? And so <laughs> this was like Friday night. I was the first one in the guild to like, you know, make it there. I trip and fall. And Cassandra runs past me as I'm falling and then just jumps and makes it to the top. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> the You're person you said you didn't want to beat you. <laughs> yes, I saw, I actually saw the exit. Like I saw the finish. <laughs> 
It was within sight. It was, it was within my grasp. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, so once, what point in this did so Ray, you get, Revan what? just fucking go insane? Yeah, um, about after four straight hours of failing. You did this for I how many hours, and, and why? Why would you Revan, do was this? It, was it before or was it before or after I was it before or after I came on and decided oh, well to before. join you guys in doing well, it, well and then before. finished it before you? It was well before that. So you say saying... at that point I've made and then, peace. and then proceeded to sit there for like over an hour waiting for you to finally finish it. <laughs> I finished oh, it, and then we waited for insane. Now, mind you, Cynic, he threw his mouse at his re- refrigerator. He actually had to go to the store and buy a new mouse in order to complete this jumping puzzle. Now, here's something I think is insane. What were you using as a way to move, le- like, to turn your body left and right in game? Keyboard. Were you using the mouse. I was using the keyboard. He was keyboard turning <laughs> yep, on a jumping puzzle. <laughs> a, an endurance timed jumping puzzle where you're constantly having to move the, your body right. <laughs> He was using his keyboard. That is the best twist to this story I could have possibly imagined. <laughs> best part I just... is, I could make it halfway through that fucking jumping puzzle. <laughs> keyboard turning. Uh, no, no, actually, I think the best part is, what did you think of doing after you broke the mouse before you went to go get a new mouse? You mean the thing you offered to do? No. The thing is, like, well, if I can't use a mouse, I'm on a laptop. Oh, that the point like, fuck, like, fuck this. I'm, I, I'm going to try the fucking touch. Oh. I, <laughs> I actually did. I just was like, I actually did not try the touch. <laughs> oh. I should. So, so you're using a wireless mouse, I assume. You didn't just rip out the cable yeah. and shit. That way. Okay. Cool. No. I've never heard of anyone throwing. So that was that, that was actually what I learned going like about halfway through my attempts of trying to do this this podcast. Um, before coming home, or sorry, podcast, the uh, jumping puzzle, before coming home and, and logging into the game, I had actually gone over to Best Buy, and that was when I, I actually went there to go check out the Wii U, uh, but while I was there, I wanted to see if they had the G600 right. to kind of try it out in my hands and see the size on it and everything, right. um, and they did, and I checked it out, and the next to it was actually the G700, Ooh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and so yeah, I decided to mouse. go ahead and pick that one up too, and I was like, huh, this actually, like, it doesn't have as many buttons as the 600, mm-hmm. but it has more than enough for me because I use the Nostromo, so that's where most of my buttons are mm-hmm. at. So it has the the four on the side, um, like two or three on the top, and then a couple more in the middle near the middle mouse button. So more than enough for what yeah. I need, and it's wireless, yeah. and it's supposed to be a good wireless. It's, it's really good, um, and it's the same price. Um, I would say that you can you can hack it because when, when you plug it plug in, uh, it's got a very short USB cable in it. But if you plug it in via extension mm-hmm. cable to your PC, it does everything over USB. So if if the wire Wireless yeah. doesn't work out for you. You can still be fully wired. Well, yeah, yeah, and, and and actually, I need to get a USB hub in order to to hook the thing in my computer at this point because I'm full up on my my slots. Right. So you switched um, over to the 700. So, uh, it's a pretty good mouse. Pretty good. So, so so I I haven't bought it yet, but I, I've switched. That's that's what I'm probably going to buy. And like so, fast forwarding now to about halfway through my attempts of trying to do this jumping puzzle. I, I just want to ask when you looked at like when you got it and you looked on the back of the box, did it have a little thing that said Riven Refrigerator approved? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it probably sh- can be shouldn't Revan have because oh. clearly it didn't work with him. He chucked that. He's got an arm. Um, Revan's got an arm. Like he's a yeah. med student. Oh yeah, <laughs> or a law student. I forgot what you were. So, yeah. so you're, because you're constantly going no going to the right, <laughs> you're slowly twisting your your wrist to the right with each each adjustment of your camera, and at some points there are there are some some somewhat safe places to reset your mouse. And when I was resetting my mouse, my cable would get stuck on my desk. Right. And cause me to then fall off of the, the level because of, oh, of wow. the adjustment not not going the way I wanted to go. So like halfway through this, I'm like, I should have just fucking bought that goddamn mouse. <laughs> Wireless mouse. <laughs> this is actually, God damn it! I have a suggestion for you, and something I really liked is um like w- when I used to live in uh, Indianapolis, uh, like I went to the cafe where we had like pretty like large size uh, mouse pads, and what they eventually transitioned to, and if you go to conventions at all, you'll like have a decent chance of finding this is like. Match of the Gathering or just some sort of like card game. Oh yeah, the, the uh, play maps. The pads they use. Yeah, get one of those because I would, I had no problem turning right because I had like twice <laughs> a meter. the distance a meter of a normal of mouse pads. pad. Yeah. Well, my old mouse pad is actually one of the the medium sized Steel Series ones, um, which actually would be a pretty decent size. But it, like, it wasn't the mouse pad size that was the issue. Oh, it was like it, the it cord just, length. Sort yeah. Of. It, well, it was the cord when I went to go pull it because like where my cord sits, I have a um, an L shaped. Um, glass top desk and the cord was actually getting stuck between the glass and the the metal oh okay wow the what? Part. How, how does that you might be able to get, like get a clip for that or something that might help or i'll just get a wireless yeah, mouse you... and, and just or that works use that, that excuse to finally spurge in the g700 that, that's straight 
Well, it's a, it's the same price as the six hundred. Yeah. So, and, and since I you know I'm already missing a button on this mouse as it is, I'm ready to get rid of it. So, I'm just I'm just imagining like the the monitors in the corner, like the middle of the uh, desk. You're on the like left side of it, and by the time you're halfway up the the uh, tower, you've like stretched out your whole body. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so. Okay, I'm still As a going person right. who didn't get to see most of Halloween stuff, what's been your favorite part of the Halloween stuff? Watching oh. Riven go up that puzzle <laughs> and throw his mouse. Hey, I can finish that puzzle now. I can you like, finish like, it. Well done, sir. His, his, his whole, and then he did it again. That's hey, the crazy part. Because he's fucking crazy. I finished it on all but one of my characters because uh, the only character I haven't done it on is my level 2 Solari. But why, why would um, you do What's the reward for doing this? An exotic. Okay. A level 80 exotic, specifically. Yeah. Get a, a, a Mad King exotic item that we believe is going to be part of a set, like the other ones were released with Act 3 oh, or cool. something. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I had a lot of fun doing the uh, Lunatic uh, Inquisition, just like with, with guildies and being like, okay, we're going to run as a pack, and then as more and more people become ghosts, it's like, oh shit, they're, they know where we are. Yep. Yeah. And then then eventually when we all Yay. got turned into ghosts, it's, we're running as a pack again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, I, that it, yeah. I, I'm surprised that they had events rather than just um, just like like, like re- reskinning the world is what I was expecting from them. And the fact that they added like maps and events and shit is kind of crazy. Yeah. So. The amount of stuff that they put into this just makes me even more excited for uh, Christmas or when um, So how much of this hits. do you think is a result of them wanting to make a good first impression on the holiday stuff? They did sort of like start it off with a bang. Yeah. I mean, like they, they not only did they have the Halloween, they had jumping mm-hmm. puzzles. They had like they they finally added. Um, I know it's not spectator mode, but they had the uh, yeah paid, paid uh, tournament tournament arena is awesome. finally implemented. Mm-hmm. Apparently, I haven't seen that. But... Uh, yeah, I think I think it's more so like not so much them like you know showing with with the the holiday events. It's more so th- this is them showing like look, we can put a lot of fucking content out real yeah. quick. Right. Which is pretty, pretty like cool. don't like don't worry. We know this is an MMO as opposed to this is more of an MMO than the Guild Wars One was. So you would expect content updates to be smaller and you know, right. um, you know more dis- more time between them. But no, we're gonna do it this way, just like we. And I love had. how um I actually believe because if noob spent money on this video game, um that means that a lot of people <laughs> would have spent money on like, the video game. I, I think costumes. that that probably would have been my, my highlight is just the infrastructure they've put in place for people buying costumes <laughs> like jesus christ i spent 20 dollars today on on fucking costume yeah and that i think i think by adding the costume brawl and stuff like that and it's really encouraging people to spend money on the game because if yeah it's, it's, it's giving you a reason gold, good fucking luck yeah well it's giving you a reason to buy those costumes given that they are town clothes stuff so you're rarely really going to see them otherwise like putting in the incentive to actually put them on and go and right. find other people and you know brawl like, with them like that's I mean, at least because, something because in the original guild wars it's like you got oh fuck you spent 10 dollars on a costume now you can afk with that costume on and ask <laughs> <laughs> yay but it, and now you actually have shit to do you know you can like for the best part about it the witch costume is if you press 4 your witch gets up on a broom with this real oh. stupid fucking smile and, on your face. And apparently and if it's just, a char, they fucking surf the broom. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's just ridiculous. It's just you run around doing that stuff. Yeah. And even for like the Mad King Thorn, if you press three, your Mad King Thorn tells a joke that oh, everyone really can hear. Really bad around. joke. Yeah. Really, really bad really joke. Terrible joke. <laughs> when, when we're humans and char friends, never. And that was a joke. And that was the fucking best moment of my day. Best moment of die, but uh, but I will say that um the fucking jump. When I told puzzle, the guy to release like the script it, prisoner, he said, man. "I don't give a script." <laughs> I, I'm saying, just saying. Um, so Revan puzzle, and Suki quality puzzle. jokes, right. but Guild Wars oh. two themes. <laughs> That's what you're yeah. and it's like voice and everything too. And basically, there's one where the he gives jump. up halfway through. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that jumping puzzle. I think every time I fall off that jumping puzzle, so much from our Asian arena net should. A fairy dies. Oh right, yeah. That's the and only it, way I will get redemption for that jumping puzzle. Oh it's yeah. When he did, said that, if, I rolled a Norn just to piss him off and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you can do this at level think, one? Yes, it yes. scales you up. Or level yeah. two, I assume. Yeah. For the labyrinth areas, at least. That's cool. Actually, another really fun moment. Uh, Riven and Shimboy and a couple other bombers 
uh, had a lot of fun with this is before Halloween even started. It's uh. like the, the the time of the update. We got word that in uh, one of the overflows in Lion's Arch, there was a dev who just happened to be like he was AFK, <laughs> well pseudo AFK. He was there, but he wasn't moving. He was mm-hmm. talking, but he was on top of the Lion's Arch statue, like the the, the proper mm-hmm. lion, the one that, as Noob said, is like being corrupted by something and breaking apart. But he was the guy who built that model. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, and we talked to him and all uh, all sorts of stuff and had a, a really great time. And we harassed just, him with questions. Oh yeah, I thought you we guys asked griefed him, him or something. We kind of well, we were trying to grief him with the the fireworks. We, yeah, it was it was half griefing, half like uh, choreographed firework display. Cool, flag. yay! <laughs> we, we asked him the uh, batter knife question. Oh yeah, what did he go for? <laughs> he went for the bat. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so let's just sign up bat. I'm bat is clearly the option. Yeah, bat, bat. Duran, do you disagree? The only reason I'm. Gonna I'm... Mess- Wow. I'm part Mexican, so I'm gonna have to go with the knife. Fuck you, <laughs> Reverend. I, I go knife just because I'm concerned about my ability to swing a bat. <laughs> no, but the thing is, it's so much easier to disarm someone with a knife than disarm someone. I with would a disagree. Bat when you're carrying a knife, it's, it's easier to dis- to um to disarm one, someone with a bat as long as they're not attacking you. No, that's why I'm. But si- if they're attacking you at the same time, what? yeah, yeah, you're right. What are you saying? Like, of course, the bat has like, way no, longer if, reach. For example, if they you if you miss with the bat. the bat, then you're really easily disarmed from that point onwards. That's the problem. Yeah. If you miss with a bat, the other guy has a knife. You're dead. Yeah, you're dead. You're pretty much dead. <laughs> Why not just have a gun? That's so fucking simple. <laughs> oh, oh, bat or well, a knife? No, but you, you, you might not be as, dead. As the you gun. might not be dead if they if they hit, if he hits you with a knife. Because it's not like you are a yep. stationary target. Like why would you pres- right. why would you plant your feet and swing the bat as opposed to just staying yeah, on the move? Double press S, you can evade. Yep. Can't tra- didn't you learn anything? Haven't you played Gears Wars too? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you gotta, gotta use the uh-huh. double tap. Now, um, as much as I would love a like, originally I was bad, <laughs> but um, it's like a deep yeah, confessional. I think- <laughs> I, I was can, I was bad. You for, can throw a knife and kill a motherfucker. He, so a person yeah, who is trained with a knife could throw a knife and kill a motherfucker. You yeah. probably <laughs> could not. The funniest <laughs> way for this fight to possibly end is if the dude throwing the knife gets hit back at him by the gal with the bed <laughs> and hits him in the head. <laughs> no, I, I I don't know. I, I like once I've won the fight, I'd rather have a knife so I can like slowly. You'd have both the dude who tried to if you won me. the fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to, to to anyone who doesn't know this question, um, because I, I know there's a few people on the who listen to Licking Cast who aren't part of the Giant Bomb community. First off, check out GiantBomb.com. It's, it's a, a website. Yeah. About so, battle or knife is not a Giant Bomb question. It's just a common question. Oh, I no, but I've still, heard they may not have heard it. So, go ahead. The, 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 the question is: is uh, if if you have to engage this other person in a fight, and you uh, you have a bat, a, a aluminum bat, or a was it a ten inch non knife? knife? Doesn't matter. It does a knife. Uh, what? What? Yeah, and you have yeah. a knife. You have to pick one, knowing that the person will pick the other person will pick the other weapon. What do you yeah. choose? Bat knife. And I love the that this that question became even more relevant with the release of Hotline Miami. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh, that quick look. That was a good quick look. That looks like a good game, but not. I don't know. A bit too man manic for me. Uh, yeah. Manic. Yep. Right. Um. Is that I mean, this it? Is where, this is where you bring that. I guess we, right, we cover okay. right. Halloween, so, right? No, 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 no. One, one, one last question. Okay, so if you had to choose between a knife or a or a okay, so anyone have any plugs that they would like to share with us? <laughs> <laughs> Please submit in the forums if you choose knife. Oh god, yeah. there's probably a thread for that. There's probably like a many page right. thread. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like I was going to mention something really important, but I forgot. All right, Cynic, tell us your box story. Oh, I have that oh this is actually here. an interesting yeah. piece of news. Right. Um, so what's... Yeah, so yeah, as precursor to the news, um, about two months ago, I had a huge... Like, well, not a huge... But I, I lost 10 gold in-game on an item that was glitched that gave me the wrong items of the turn. It was a box that went unpacked. as supposed to get a full set of armor. Um, the armor is supposed to be uh, the top tier, level 80 exotic tier, but it was actually the the rare tier so it was the shit items instead so i report that to be and 
that pretty much went into the ether because what was revealed by that box and me having that problem and therefore submitting it to support was that they couldn't um that at the time they weren't capable of generating items to provide people as refunds for errors in the game um so they had no item generation whatsoever on the back end um so people who are get who are getting like glitched items out of the mystic forge glitched items out of, out of um the trading post and stuff were just getting screwed over and over again. And it actually did ruin a couple of people's experiences. Like if you dig back into um the thread on the Guild Wars 2 support forums about the box of draconic armor in this case specifically, um which was really expensive. Like some people lost seventeen gold a, a month after the game like not even like three weeks after the game came out, which should pretty much be all their money. And literally people just stopped playing because of it. So um what happened was just like I think it was yeah Tuesday, so the first day of Halloween or so. Um, they sent out they they finally re- sent me a box of draconic armor to replace the one that I purchased out of the trading post like two months ago, which is cool because I now have a skirt. Um, but as a dude, which sucks. But um, on the other side of hey, it, what <laughs> fuck you? I wear skirts all the time. What's wrong with that? Yeah. So yeah, does this character? I I. Why would, why would I don't want to comment because like uh, okay, so you probably shouldn't be wearing skirts because I know you have terrible legs. But if you, <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let me quickly take a picture. If you, oh um, god, no! If you want to wear a skirt, I'm not going to stop you from wearing a skirt because it's a life choice, you know. If you enjoyed that, yeah. it's not a skirt; it's a utility <laughs> kilt. <laughs> but yeah, so um. So they sent me a box of draconic armor, which is awesome. So now I have essentially that 10 gold back. Uh, but also it reveals that they are now capable of generating items in the back end and giving people support when they need to, which is awesome. Uh, and I'm, it took yeah. them a while. It was it did take them about two months to do. But hey, now, now you can purchase things on the trading post and even with gems if you want securely because they can actually refund you the items now, which is good. That's my news. Good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, would you rather have a car or a bat? <laughs> so I wanted to plug the, um... So plugs. The uh... linking cost. Oh, cause, oh, yeah, we should probably say that I'm probably not going to be a regular guest as much anymore. Right. So Nubarama and Durin right. are going to alternate as hosts. Are going to be editing... I'll be editing the podcast, um... And, oh yeah. God! No, I, I, no. Cynic will actually continue to edit yeah. the podcast. Um, <laughs> I will probably h- be the uh, stand-in host in the meantime, and maybe occasionally New let New take the reins because yeah. today he's clearly shown us that uh, he has no maybe, balls. maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we just walk all over him. He just sits there and fucking takes it. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. I don't want to say like, "Hey, shut the fuck up!" It's now this person's turn. <laughs> <laughs> so parallel make TD four so anyway, guys. Yeah. So, I, want, so, I want you to do that every time. <laughs> so yeah, N- N- Noob and I will will kind of okay. trade off uh, uh, hosting on the podcast. Um, Thurbleton will be a, a very frequent guest, if not every week. Shut the fuck um, up! As it's a my turn for to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, as, and as usual, we'll we'll bring people like Revan in. Woo. Um, you know, Suki if we have if he has the time to do so, and you know, same Shinboy, as always. Of course. Uh, Shinboy, Suki, of course, yeah. Suki is still on every now and then with Guild Wars 2. It's just, again... He's back at school. It's 5 in the morning for him. He yeah. is a, he's in med school. He is yeah. well into mm. med school. So, so like, we'll, we'll maybe still continue... Like, more likely during the summer vacation. Yeah, yeah so things will basically continue to go the way they have, uh, with the exception of Cynic not being on on a regular basis, uh, Thurbleton kind of taking his place, and Noob and I trading off as as um, hosts in, in Cynic's Right, because Cynic got engaged, right? Congratulations. Got engaged to a job. He got engaged to his work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with your right hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, Cynic, you were saying about plugs? Oh, yeah, so I just wanted to plug the Lincoln Cast uh, Twitter and uh, Gmail. So it's actually the Lincoln Cast on Twitter or um, the Lincoln Cast at gmail.com on Gmail. You can send us questions. Um yeah, if you have any questions, we'll probably put them on the show since we haven't gotten many since release because, you know, there's not many questions out there. But if you want to hear what our thoughts are on, for example, Endgame gear, what you should gear out, for example, <gasps> which is going to be, which is totally going to be this episode if Suki could make it, but I don't think he could. Um, right. And I didn't have the time to organize. So, but yeah, stuff like that. And for the record, that was that was, that was was going to be last episode too, but Suki could make before it. before that? Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as we get him on, we will have that episode. And, and that, don't forget to plug that uh, reading of Ghosts of Ascalon that that we should. Oh do. God! Oh God! Oh! Audiobook. Oh God! I forgot all about that. Has there been a book I've read that's been good? Oh, Leviathan Wakes. The um. 
<laughs> the 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 sci-fi <laughs> novel is also pretty good. I'd, I'd check that out if I were you. The Leviathan. No, it's just called Leviathan Wakes. It's pretty awesome. The, the it's half detective. No, I think I talked okay. about this. Long, but uh, yeah, I think you did. Yeah, yeah I think you did. Yeah, actually, the social contract. Like, yeah. what would that been three weeks ago? I think now, mm-hmm. four weeks ago. Yeah. God, Fuck. When you when you left us to get engaged <laughs> and when and on don't your whatever. ever go to the Lincoln Cast Facebook page. Facebook. Okay, look. look <laughs> don't ever, don't ever enter get. our mumble. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, yeah. that, that's actually what I was going to say. Definitely enter the mumble. Go to the Giant Bomb forums, the, the Guild Wars 2 sub forum, you know, find our, our um, You don't know what we talk thread. about when, you do, when you're not and there. It, it, yeah, know that the, the conversation that goes on is um, probably at least three folds uh, more offensive than anything you'll ever hear on here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, or, or we're talking about, like, anime. How, how to build something as an engineer, yeah, or anime, yeah. you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, dude, or human sacrifice, you know, whatever cast. just happens Shit. to come up. Cynic, can you make it for the anime cast? For, uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> just tell me what's on. That's all we need. Just tell me what's on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We can get like Doctor Creation and JKC, and we can get that. Anime oh God! Going. Oh, God damn! I only right, watched um, the worst anime, and you know this. Holy shit! Yeah, we can talk about. <laughs> you know, there's, like, there's actually an Life. opening for a giant bomb anime podcast. Yeah, there is. Oh my god! Wait, there's an anime discussion. There's a giant bomb anime party. podcast. The, 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 no, apparently, there's, there's gonna be the whole. <laughs> oh, Jesus. a giant bomb community anime podcast. Post it in that anime thread. Well, that I mean, shows up. anime people. I'm not gonna out which of the of the members of the Lincoln Force have agreed to do this, but some of us have agreed to have a Skype session watching Sailor <laughs> the Moon. new series <laughs> Sailor Moon, <laughs> Sailor Moon. <laughs> when it comes out in the summer. Dude, we should tell... Because yeah. we're crazy. I, I would be willing to help well, we know produce Suki will the be one of anime them. podcast. If you want to do that, noob, let's do that. All right, let's do it. We can, just, we can have a Giant Bomb Community so anime this, podcast. So this week, did you guys see the new Boku no Pico episode? Not now. <laughs> it's end out the show. Not now. End out the show. Oh. Also, oh God, don't look Boku no Pico up. I will I will plug, you know, like I said, the... Lincoln Cast Mumble definitely right. check us out there. Um, um, if you, especially if you are a guild member, like definitely hop on there. There's people on there willing to help with whatever, or just people to fucking talk to because MMOs are fucking boring when you're playing by yourself. Agreed. Mm-hmm. And you will not be bored on that mumble. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Unless no one else is on, so usually US times is yeah, the best. Which, to be on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which I mean, most weekdays the numbers are a little lower, but you'll generally see a couple people on. Right. Um, and then I, I, I'm going to go ahead and plug my. Finally, Twitch channel because I I have I've randomly started streaming Yay. again. I, I'm not doing camera because my webcam, for some fucking reason, um, has continued to crash uh, Windows Explorer every time I try to actually enable it using a, any kind of a program. Okay. Um, but yeah, now that I've learned that that's reason. the only problem, I can continue streaming just without a webcam. Will it work? You have a camera problem as well. I have a weird thing with no, with not sort of a web like webcam problem. Uh, whenever I try to like. Turn the video on Skype or whenever uh, I turn my webcam on when I'm streaming, which I'll get to after Duran's plugs. Um, it like the pop up set like says it's not working, but I can see that it's working, <laughs> and it, like I just I just minimize it throughout the course of the the video like part, and then once I'm done with it, I was like, okay, yeah, you have an error, and it's otherwise it keeps popping up. Yeah, see, I don't I don't know why mine mine just crashes Windows Explorer every time I try to open it. I I've recently wiped all of the software for it and reload a new software. I'm going to try that. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to go in and fucking mess with some registry files yeah, registry, and everything yeah, from my computer. That. Oh, and, I got and to play Windows that. 8. If that doesn't work. I got I don't to play with Windows know. 8. Finally. Is it It is actually is it pretty like, cool. Yeah, yeah, everyone who sweet. everyone who hasn't touched it yet are like, "Oh, this is fucking shit." And then people who have actually said it are used. Well, I'm just oh, I, I'm cool. unsure about it, and and yeah, the, it's sure. it's it's sounding like at launch is not a good it time to get it. It is not if you good are a if you player. have. By the way, like specifically, I will very much say this: if you have a 27 inch monitor and a 30 inch monitor, like I do, it is not very good <laughs> at all. Like we we plugged it into uh, we plugged a, a laptop, my friend's laptop, into my my computers. Uh, to get that working, and and I had to that that way because I wanted to see that laptop. We also um, recently installed it onto another friend of mine's PC as well, um, because a lot of the gestures are from the top and bottom corners of your monitor. And you have a mm. big ass monitor, mm. then it's it's just to get anything done. You're like fucking well, waving your arm around in your desk like fucking crazy. <laughs> well, and not not only that, but it's also not very good for dual screen monitors. I haven't tried it um simultaneous dual or, screen. Sorry, dual, dual screen setups I mean yeah. because 
there are there are some gestures that, that you have to trigger from the edge of the screen, and if you're trying to trigger it from, like, say, the edge of your left screen. Oh wow, that's stupid! The, the, right, the right hand edge of your left screen. It's a real I pain in the ass. To get, to get oh, I did. I should have tested that yeah. when he was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fucking. So yeah, if you have a dual screen setup, Windows but eight for laptops, not so good. Windows eight is pretty cool. Yeah, for laptops, it's probably really great. For tablets, it's got to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like if you if you're getting a, a Windows Surface like that that. But don't get Surface RT. I, I, don't it get seems Surface real RT. Slick. No, do not. Yeah, don't get RT. Do not get RT. Anyway, it's the <laughs> biggest waste of money ever. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So, so um, I'll, I'll be streaming Starting. some randomly. Um, I, I've been streaming some Cook Serve Delicious. Uh, I'll probably do some more of that tomorrow. Um, and I've also been streaming a little bit of Chivalry. Um, I'll probably stream some Guild Wars too, assuming it doesn't crash like it did last time I tried. <laughs> but yeah, so I, uh, that's so I'll be kind of ongoing with that. It's kind of randomly every. Every every time I try to do it scheduled, it never works out, and I feel bad because I tell people, "All right, guys, see you again tomorrow," and then I don't show yeah. up. So just follow my channel; it's twitch.com uh, slash durin d o u r i n, and you'll get an email when I go live. That's about the best I can do. Double ten. Okay. Uh, like Durin said, uh, like check out his uh, Twitch channel. Uh, I also stream as well. Uh, it's nowhere near regular. Uh, more often than not, I'll end up like I usually stream. Hey. We're gonna be doing this uh, guild like this this dungeon run, and it's gonna be crazy. I know, so I'm gonna record all and. So your most uh, of your stuff is actually Guild Wars Two. Yeah, um, most of it is Guild Wars Two. Uh, I know that when I uh, do Dishonored, I'm gonna stream Yay. that. And it's I might gonna be like XCOM tomorrow. Actually, <laughs> stream a good oh, game. God. Nah, I'm, I'm being it's mean. XCOM is actually good. <laughs> It's just not as good. Stream it's, some Hearts of Iron Three. It's good. I'm just not sure if it's a spectator um, game. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm kind of not. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little slow burn. And I, I, it's slow it's burn. no one news. Good luck here, Yeah, um, it, it's Twitch.tv oh, so slash Thurbleton. Um, it's not Thurbleton. It's straight up yep. Thurbleton. No, I'm French. Uh, it's Thurbleton. Well, it's uh, French or well, douchebags, which is why I made my mesmer, who is a douchebag. Hey, French. there you go. Oh, oh, you just called <laughs> out those. You just called out those. Oh, we have a Welshman listening to us, by the way. Oh, you no, mean actually, my the, dumb the guild? <laughs> really, really cool mini story. Um, I said in, I, something in uh, Wolf Wolf chat today, like basically like you know, Crystal Desert won the night because they have so many like dirty French mm-hmm. Canadians. And I got a message from somebody on our server. It's like, I'm French Canadian. You got a problem with that? And it's like, my only problem is that we don't. Get enough <laughs> <of you guys." laughs> um, no, why would we want? We more need French? more French Canadians. No, what's his face? And, he, um, and they also need to join the guild. I know we have at least campus. one Welsh listener, which is hilarious because whenever his Zoom is oh, on, we awesome. immediately start bagging the Welsh. It's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I salute you, sir. <laughs> um, what? So hopefully next week, shit's going to be better because I went bowling until 11 p.m. last night and I'm sort of tired. It's You uh, know, it's, have one it's other nine. Well, next week she'll be better because I'm going to actually stream next week. Or not yeah. stream. I'm, I'm going to host next week, noob. So... <laughs> We're kind of already guaranteed it's going to be better. <laughs> hey, man. I'm going to ruin it. Oh, oh. It's time she we fight. Me. That's great. Anyway. Um, but no, I also want to uh, do a note to uh, Tessa.com. Like, as we talked about last week, Drew and Alexis did a uh, 24-hour Halo stream for... Uh, Extra uh, Life. Extra, Extra Life. Life. Tessa.com did a 24-hour uh, podcast for Child's Play. Which I mean, you may not go to their site a whole lot, but I mean, Child's Play is it, there, there's a lot of. Oh, Child's you mean Play Jamie series. and Adams tested? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. It's crazy because they have the four. Yes. They have four um, of those cool pictures. I know it more as Will Smith. And yeah, and all those. Um, guys. Like it, if, you, if you watch, because they're gonna have they have a live stream for it, and it's good. So it's 24 hours long. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna be archived in some shape or form. It's been. Yeah, but by, by the time of this recording, it, most of it should yeah. be. Yeah, and, and the crazy thing um, is, um, they have like, a cool new set. For it, but on the back wall, there's four photos. So there's like, uh, there's Adam, I think it was, or Jamie. Oh, I, forget, I keep forgetting. But then there's Will, Norm, and Joey. It's so weird seeing four faces mm-hmm. there. Because it's, it's supposed to be just Will and Norm, and Joey. And, it's crazy. And a lot, like, I think most, most or all the giant bomb people show up at different parts of the uh, 24 hours yeah. podcast. Yeah. yeah, 24 hours. Even Ryan showed up, even though he said he wasn't going to. <laughs> And he showed up in the best. He just he just like stormed in with some like Doritos and Doritos was really and Mountain Dew and sweat. The Doritos and Mountain Dew, and he's just like, "All right, guys, what's up? <laughs> Dude, what do you guys think of that Jeff? Kid? Anyway, yeah. whatever. Who cares? Who cares? But the okay. donations, uh, the Child's Play charity thing goes on until uh, the end of this week, I think. Mm-hmm. So if you if you're reading, if you get this podcast right away, you can still go there, give some money to Child's Play. It's a mm-hmm. good charity. And actual life. Do do bro- if you have yeah. fifteen dollars, give both seven and a half. 
do it for the yeah. children. Oh, and and real quickly, um, calling back to earlier when Cynic was talking about uh, Adam Savage's project, where they were talking about the horror movies. That was project number fourteen. It was good. It was a good episode. I like that. And and again, um, go to the giantbomb.com website. It's the Lincoln uh, Force Guild. We did the whole cleaning of the house. We we got all the like the the people the, who the great officer purge. Yes. 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 That I organized, but then slept through. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it was me, it was me, me, Revan. Who else was there? Um, Subs and uh, oh, man, I haven't talked and, to Subs uh, in ages. Yeah. That guy's awesome. I, I really bad habit of Subs sleeping on, through like, shit. Subs, Subs is on right now. Snapping. Yeah. More yep. than I was during that jumping puzzle. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I I'm not surprised. We, That's, that guy's a gentle soul. We are but, we are you know. we are a great community. We would love to have you listeners join us. Uh, but we are basically making the unofficial rule of you have to contact us through the forums of the giant mm-hmm. bomb thing. Uh, we aren't just um, picking if, up if people off the, if you're the street. A pretty woman, have sex. Unless you are an attractive lady, <laughs> <laughs> lady person. If Wait, what if you are a uh, you must invite from my room. A teenage Asian man who wears skirts with really nice legs. <laughs> Noobs are in the guild. If you are a teenage Asian person who wears utility hey. kilts. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Fuck, you, fuck utility kilts. <laughs> well, fuck, fuck you. Ryan Davis. <laughs> with that, uh, on behalf of um, myself, please have a nice day. And have a nice day. That's, yeah, that's a good inspired. way to end the podcast. That should be the thing. No, no, no you missed the last part. So I think it was have a nice day have and nice fuck day off. And fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you.